Hello mortals, I am Jensen and welcome back to Dagon's Drogma Bark Drizzle. In the previous episode, I think we were going through here, weren't we? We were going through Blue Moon Tower and we were trying to get ourselves the Worm King's Ring. It's all coming back to me now. Let's go ahead and we will give ourselves Holy Affinity because we actually need it. We actually desperately need Holy Affinity. Excellent. Oh my god, I'm also going to turn the game volume up really quickly. Maybe to about here? How's this? This is probably a little bit better, right? Uh, let's do a fight before we kind of commit to this level of volume. What do you mean, that one? Oh, piss. Oh, actually, he does not resist magic well. Go! Go, my friends! Yeah, this guy is actually taking it straight to the chest. Woo! <laughs> Someone tried to attack me and I just flew around him. Excellent. Uh, let's go ahead and just kind of like close a little bit of distance. Val just absolutely roasted someone. I killed somebody from a distance. Great. Got a blank scroll and we also got a small coin pouch. Awesome. Hey, Scarby, how you doing with the new class? Oh, hello, sir. What is your name? I'm Jensen. Would you like some magic? Uh, Jill, please. <laughs> Function. Excellent. Oh, damn, that hurt. That hurt bad. Val, uh, give me some health back, please. Yes. Excellent. Okay, we're getting a little bit of health back. Oh, that's so much better. Ah, nice and relaxing. Nice, relaxing, stressful game. Now, I'm pretty sure there are still harpies up here. But we're probably going to have to wait a little bit, right? I am going to go ahead and I'm going to cast Maelstrom all the way along here because I know that there's a bunch of dickheads right at the end of this area. And I kind of want to suck them in from a distance and then drop them. From a height. Okay, this should do it pretty good. Oh, already one of them, two of them. Nice. Wonderful. How many more? Three. V good, V good, V good. Any more? We got three. Armed bandits are risen. No. Okay, we got three of them. That's actually that's still pretty damn decent. How the hell did these guys survive? Random. Okay, let's go ahead and give ourselves high necromancy. Simply because it's kind of like a defensive utility. Okay, Jill is actually a bit of a meat axe, isn't she? Jesus, look at her go. Uh, let's put this on ourselves just in case we get ambushed by something. Good. We don't have any stamina, which is a little bit annoying. And we're super short, so we move super slow. But I don't think necromancy is going to go anywhere. Yeah, kill them all. I dare you. Go on. Give it a go. Necromancy's going to have a, a, a good go at that guy. Oh, that does so much damage. Good grief. I love necromancy. Oh, that is a good skill. Perfect. Let's try that again. Or do we want to try Maelstrom? Nope. I'm trying necromancy. It's, it seems like height is, is the way, right? Okay, I'm stuck. I'm dying. I am literally about to die. Scarby, oh my god, tank. That is your sole purpose. Don't jump away from all of the attacks. What is wrong with you? You oaf. Okay, let's give ourselves high necromancy because we need the defensive utility. Val is about to heal us uh, to at least two thirds of our health, which is going to be absolutely perfect. And we've got high necromancy. I don't know if we're still in combat, but we are going to push onwards with the skills that we have at our disposal. I'm going to hide my weapons. We have a little bit more movement speed. Let's go ahead and just uh, shoot on up here. And hopefully... Whoa, okay. Let's get the necromancy out. Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay, perfect. That guy just fell down a hole, which is hilarious. Let's go ahead and pick up this Harspud milk, because I'm pretty sure we can use it to heal eventually. Uh, I'm going to do another high necromancy. This is kind of powerful, actually, the high necromancy. And once we get the Worm King's Ring, we're going to almost always have it on ourselves. We can get outside if we jump down below. Okay, good. I thought Val just literally jumped off the ledge of the map, but she did not. Hey, anyway, what's this? Pick it up. See what it is. Or not? There is a chest down there. I know what she's talking about, but uh, I don't really care about her too much. Now, I seem to remember there was a couple of ogres down in this area, wasn't there? Down through here, maybe? I think. I wonder where it leads. All right, what's in this chest? Let's check it out. It is a Salubrious Brew. I don't know what that does. 
Oh, piss. <laughs> oh, you know what? Screw these guys. Okay, good. I think I blew one of them up with a gigantic keg of... Something. Okay, I killed a rat. I'm contributing. I promise. Uh, we need, like, holy orb. I probably actually... Live it. Let's try live it. I think we probably actually did not need... Holy. We, we probably actually needed something else. Right? We probably needed... Fire. All right, I'm going to try for live in. We can move around while we've kind of like top casted this this first one. All right, where are they? I know that's a rat. I don't want to. I don't want to strike my entire load against that rat right there. Oh damn it! I let go of the button. That was a little bit clumsy. Okay, so necromancy, right? We know that they're there. We can hear them. This is probably actually a good time to be using necromancy. Let's go ahead and put this on ourselves. Probably going to be wanting to use Maelstrom or Seism at some point as well against the gigantic apes we're about to come across. Have we got them? We definitely have Maelstrom. We've got Bolide instead. Alright, I'm coming in. Sucks to be you guys. Oh, that hurt. What the hell? Are you taking the piss? I just got shot through a wall. Oh, all the way back here? Okay, game. Sure. Okay. That hurts. That, that, that actually does hurt. That, that hurts a lot. If only we could put necromancy on another person. That would be so much help, more helpful. Like on Jill? Okay, let's stick it on ourselves because we're about to be attacked. I should probably also level up this little magical stuff that we've got on our back and we should probably also wait until it's daytime to really be aggressing against anything hello that one, that one. go get them okay that's one this guy is not resistant to magic at all neither is that guy fortunately beautiful okay i'm gonna go over here and i'm going to uh, fall off of the side of the map into the brine that's absolutely fine i thought i was gonna stand on a ledge but it's it's it didn't happen it just didn't happen. Yeah, I'm back. Oh, right. I spawned in front of the enemies. That was uh, not amazing. Let's give ourselves necromancy again because we are going to find ourselves uh, kind of like... Oh, actually, no, let's not. Let's go ahead and just do... What was that? It was uh, Maelstrom. Let's do Maelstrom. Let's cast a nice wee Maelstrom. Don't attack me. Don't let him hit me. Okay, we probably want to fire it just over here, right? Maybe we want to pull it in towards ourselves. Like this. Bye-bye! Bye, everybody! Okay, how many? One. I'm looking at the experience cannon in the top right corner. Okay, one. Wait for an opening. Two, three. Uh, maybe necromancy would benefit us here. Maybe. Guys, attack! What are you? Why are you cowering? Leave it to us. Okay, good. Let's get necromancy on ourselves. We will uh, catch our breath. All right, good. Val just cast fire against somebody. I think they had a little bit of resistances though, so maybe it didn't do a huge amount of damage. But at least she did it. No one else actually did anything. I don't think. I don't think Scarby did anything. I don't think uh, Jill did anything that time. Hello? Necromancy coming! Watch out for the necromancy! <laughs> I love that skill so much. That is so fun to use. Alright, what's around this corner here? Ah, a couple of archers. That's absolutely fine. We can actually just kind of like cast Maelstrom. Right? Let's go do that. Let's fire a Maelstrom up here. I think that this is going to be the way. So this is basically how I end up playing just about every game. I nuke. There is one swordsman here who nobody is attacking except... Okay, there we go. Good. Got him with a skull splitter. Beautiful. What the hell is this guy up to? Is that a dead guy? He's wearing my braces. Random. What a guy. Leave it to me. Okay, we didn't lose any health, by the way. So we're already doing better than we did before. And let's actually, as a preemptive measure... Let's save. Let's save the goddamn game. Because we didn't save earlier. And we keep having to restart back at the Bring beginning of that area. 
Uh, let's go ahead and use Necromancy again, because I'm pretty sure we're about to be attacked by another couple of go dudes at the top of the staircase here. The hell is that? Oh, there's one guy way up top. Way up top. He's, a, he's an archer, I think. Ow. I took a hit. All right, someone touch me. Thank you. All right, Necromancy. Necromancy's going up. Okay, that's good. Nice. Even fired his body down to where we could kind of like um, defile it, I suppose. We could defile his body from where it's set. All right, good. I think necromancy is about to disappear, so let's kind of like rush ahead. Try and get these guys as fast as we can. There we go. Good. Uh, stop. <laughs> what are you doing? Don't come after me. Boom. <laughs> no! That guy one hit me. Oh my days. That's fine. We'll respawn down on the staircase beneath us. I'm pretty sure there was one archer in between us and them. Sorcerer? Not really. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call him a sorcerer. Okay, let's just get Necromancy up and uh, we'll try and knock him off the ledge. What's the harm? What is the harm? There's literally no harm in doing so. Okay, we're a little bit tired. Somebody should come and, I don't know, maybe save us. Val? Maybe? Scarby? Val? Someone want to come uh, get me up? No? No one wants to come and get me up? Alright, that's fine, I suppose. Right, I don't see any other enemies, and we're not locking onto anybody with a necromancy, so let's just rush ahead while necromancy is active. And it'll all snap to an enemy, won't it? Okay. Whoa! Boom! That sorcerer actually just dodged my uh, my fire barrel. Crazy! Okay, do we want to maybe try and cast a maelstrom in here? Let's try it. Let's, let's try for a maelstrom. All right, that guy has a big cloud around him. Uh, if he gets close to us, that's not good. In fact, we probably want to get away from him. Don't worry, guys. I'll take him out. Idiots. Good. Oh, there's another! Oh, he knocked me over. Nice! That was a, a good series of shots right there. I think that was Pentad shot from uh, Scarby. Going straight into the held enemy from Jill. Let's go ahead and save, actually. Let's save. Because we need to do so. We actually need to save every single chance we get now. No, don't kill them all. Let's try high necromancy. Just while we're standing here. Yeah, get him! I don't know who the hell they're talking about. I obey. Yeah, you damn well better. <laughs> okay, necromancy time. That's a fun skill. I like how they just kind of like fire uh, from above and below. Okay, we took out all of the rats in the area, which kind of sucks. Let's go ahead and give ourselves holy affinity. And then we'll just pepper shots out sideways, I think. We don't want to take any chances by getting shot by any of these archers because they tend to one hit us. One. What the hell? What happened to my holy? Tis a troubling foe. Counter after the huh? strike. Weird. Okay, Val is down for the count, but she can get herself back up. That was unusual. No, Val, get yourself back up. Don't be lazy. Right, just looking around this corner here, we're kind of peppering one of these archers really, really well, and he can't land any of the hits around the corners either. Only we can land the hits around the corners. It's like having one of those guns with the uh, the barrel that's cocked sideways, and it's got like a like a digital camera on the barrel. Oh, there's two dudes down there. Right, there's another one just over here. This guy's taking mad hits. Oh, that was a big hit. If only it penetrated stone. <laughs> well, it sucks to be this fella. Okay, that should do it. We're also going to give ourselves high necromancy. Because I'm pretty sure there's one guy above us. Oh, there is actually one guy across here. I'm going to give myself necromancy. And then I'm going to time his shot so we don't get hit. Let's go. And now we rush him. Are you taking the piss? This guy actually just one hit me from full health. Jesus. Oh my god, maybe we need to get better armor. Maybe the robes are, are, are just not working in our benefit. Or maybe, actually, here, check this out. Maelstrom. <laughs> right on the staircase. How does that sound, you big bastards? A big old Maelstrom. Yes, I know. 
They, don't worry, Scarby. They haven't seen you standing right in front of them. Find an opening, then Maelstrom! Boom! All right, that should be all of them taken care of, right? Well, they went up high. I think we just launched one of them through the map. We have triumphed. Okay. We have triumphed, haven't we? Excellent. Okay, let's go ahead and do necromancy again in case we get snuck up on. That was effective. That was really, really effective. Maybe we should have just started with the uh, the old maelstrom. That is my favorite uh, skill in the game by a long shot. It just takes so long to cast. Oh, you all right, someone right, get me master? up. Thank you. Don't Thank you, Jill. Friendship with Scarby is now over. Jill is new best friend. Okay, we're going to sprint up here because there's uh, archers and stuff all over the place. And we don't really want to be hit. Sorry! Sorry! Sorry to disappoint! Good. Took him out. Uh, we are almost dead. It's not amazing. Mm, we probably should fire some kind of maelstrom around this corner here. Because there's one guy above us. Ah, booze. Alright, I don't know if this is actually going to reach him. But I like my odds. I do like my odds. Alright, let's fire it up. Did he get him? No. Not even remotely close either. Okay. I'm puffed. Val is about to die. She took an arrow straight in the face. Good god, I saw the end of it sticking out of her head. Okay, how about Bolide? Maybe Bolide will do the trick. A high Bolide. We are basically in a safe spot right here. No one is actually going to get us from where we are standing. As long as Val just tanks everything, which is her sole purpose as a pawn. And Bolite! Nice. Good. We should be puffed. That guy should get knocked off of the ledge by a single meteor, hopefully. Uh, he's at the top corner of the screen. Oh, there's one of them. One's okay. Uh, it was rubbish, though. Okay, that was not good. Right, next thing we probably want to try is Holy Affinity. The guy on the uh, ledge right up there firing the arrows downwards is actually a real pain in the ass. No, I think a lot of people, no matter what build, really struggles with that guy. Simply because he's kind of... He's just... Uh, what the hell? Anytime. What is going on? I'm not giving anybody else holy. What is going on with my holy enchantments? They are failing to cast. It's super weird. Okay, good. That doesn't even fire upwards towards the guy that's attacking. Okay, let's try the stairwell. Uh, those are all hitting the ground. I think one of those hit him. Okay, we got to hit over this side, right? Good. Maybe up here is... Nope, that's straight into the wall. Let's just fire this way. We probably just have to spam holy until uh, we get him, right? I shall restore your health. Was that it? Yeah, that was it. Okay, good. Uh, now we're at the top of Blue Moon Tower. We're going to have to save because we're about to get into a boss fight, hopefully, with Shalomir. I hope. We're about to find out. We've got Holy Attack. Uh, not really all that useful. We want to give ourselves Necromancy because this guy is a bit of a penis and we want all of the defense that we could possibly give to ourselves. I'll take that. If only there were more skills that just like auto uh, kind of like... <laughs> Spammed two enemies. I can't believe I never used a necromancy before. All right, let's come up here. We'll sprint up here, and we should encounter. Truly, the arisen is a profession given to leisure. Or do you hope to earn your meals catching stray wizards for fear of actually facing the dragon? Alas, I'm not one for company. Let us be done with this. Oh, let's go, because I killed. To your journey's end. That is a line. Uh, although, got to be said, I did kill all of his friends, so it's it's One good he's a bit of an introvert. Is Where is my necromancy? Character. Okay, go. Everyone go. I don't want to be hit by that. Oh, he's dead. What heavy rapture. He's actually dead. Yes. I will see my dream made reality. Okay, let's listen to his exposition first. He's gone. In it, I shall be reborn unto life everlasting. Well, I hate to say it, buddy old pal, but I can see your health bar. What do you mean they hold the advantage? Ah, oh, well, sucks to be him. 
dropped his ring. Okay, so we are going to take this. This is actually essential to our build. We're going to take this. We're also going to take this here, Fairy Stone, because we can sell them. What the hell? Oh, thank the Lord we've got Holy, huh? <laughs> Those skeletons had to jump on us, and they absolutely whipped it. All right, none of the loot here has spawned either. Don't think the griffin's still here. Right, so the best we can do is actually to go into our tools, use the Eternal Fairy Stone to go back to Grand Sorin. And there is a reason we are not going to be handing this, this quest in immediately. We can take this to the Scrivener at the Black what Cat, and we are going to uh, do a little bit of a dirty dirty. Any more quests? No, none. Okay, so I'll come up here. Well, wow, that guy's kid. What the hell is this guy? Hello. Lil John. Wow. Good grief. He's a hideous. He was a hideous man, was he not? Yuck. He was green. Which is usually more lively. Jesus, man. Okay, so... There's Caxton. Not interested in Caxton. He won't give us anything new until we kind of, like, get to the next stage of the game. I'm going to knock this lady over because it's funny. I wonder who our beloved is going to be. Oh. Hmm. A barber shop. She uh, had some really, really good weapons there. Ice, permanent ice enchants are pretty damn good in this game. Although, hilariously, the best uh, weapons in the game are actually the rusted daggers. And the reason for that is the rusted daggers uh, inflict slow on enemies. The Duke's got Okay, let's go ahead, talk to this fella, and we want to forge a little shiny thing. Where is it? This one, right here. Worm King's Ring. Let's go ahead and hand this over. Oh, it's a hundred grand. Yeah, we can afford it. <laughs> That's why we're playing on hard mode. Excellent. Okay, let's go all the way back. We basically now just have to sleep a couple of days, and then we go back to get it. We hand in the forgery. Apex. We are fine. Where are people getting these ice daggers? That is a different character. Who knows? Maybe we'll get the trophy set for Scarby. Again, I have no idea. Or maybe we'll just like set her as a warrior class and just have her just grapple for fun. We still need to slay a griffin to get the gloves of might, actually. Those are basically the um the the foundations of the build that I want to go for with Scarby. Alright, let's go ahead and do a sleep. We'll stay until morning. Very good. I wonder if anybody's used Scarby. Probably not. Dragon's Dogma 2 is now out and optimized. So I'd be uh, very skeptical that anybody has rented her whatsoever. Like, she's pretty big and meaty. But again, probably not going to make a huge difference if people aren't actually playing the game in the first place. It's still one of the best games I've ever played, though. I'm still having fun. I put thousands of hours into this game, and this playthrough is still actually really, really good. Okay, server access is a, a little bit slow. Our travel preparations complete. Hmm. No one's rented it. All right, we're going to stay until morning again, which means we have to sit through another server accessing screen. But probably not too long a one. This one should be significantly shorter. Here's hoping. Please? Please, game? I can actually turn this off. I, I can turn that off in the menu, but... I kind of want uh, the ability for people who are getting to this game late to be able to play with Scarby as if anybody wants to play along. Okay, we're going to go straight to the Scrivener at the Black Hat, and we're going to go and claim our Worm King's Rings. Someone Should be fine. We probably want to increase our height, don't we? We, we probably don't want to be a short ass anymore, like um, an absolute tiny little action figure. We could probably stay a tiny, a short ass action figure, but... It is noticeably slower to run as this character than any other character. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and talk to this fellow right here. Uh, I don't want to see his store. I want to talk to him about his forgeries. Thank you very much. Let's actually take a look at his weapons and see if he's got anything that we could benefit from. Because we he might. Cage Fury. I remember that one being really good. Edge Fury, um, successive magic strikes without taking damage raises its power, but at maximum power, one hit drops stamina to zero. It raises its power by dealing successive hits. 
One hit drops damage. Okay. So this is like a no hit weapon. Let's just go ahead and I think we use this one instead of the helical arch staff. Probably a better idea, right? Yeah. I know it's got way, way lower magic, but I'm pretty sure it's kind of like sure damage potential is significantly higher than almost all of the other items in the game. Potentially. We're about to find out, actually. I'm going to upgrade this bad boy right here as well. So that uh, just outputs a little bit higher DPS. And we're also going to think about maybe going back to Bitter Black, if that's the case. Because if we can out DPS some of the enemies there with this gigantic, well, this damaged gigantic staff, then we might be in a really, really good spot to be able to take on uh, some of the DLC for a little Someone bit of experience gain. Okay, let's talk to Caxton right here. The Masterwork Saw, you, you can't go wrong. wrong. Let's go ahead and enhance the Caged Fury. So we need Mandrake, and we also, we have a lot of Mandrake, actually. And we need a Vengeful Mirror, which we have none of. So I'm going to enhance this right here. Increases strength. The hell? That's weird. Why can't I increase the second one? Uh, I have Mandrake. Oh, no, I've got five Mandrake. Okay, so we need Last another Mandrake to uh, kind of, like, level that one up to its maximum potential. Actually, now that we've leveled it up, the kind of, like, fireflies inside of the cage are a different color. That's pretty cool. Neat. Uh, we probably want to go and deposit a bunch of stuff because we probably have full pockets now, don't we? Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, managed sword items. Let's go ahead and deposit literally everything that we aren't using. Juice, placate of Buru, Sour Beast Steak, Interventive. Don't need it. We don't need any of the... Look, we don't need two flasks of water. We only need the one. Conqueror's Perept. Definitely getting rid of that. Dragon Spit, no. Fairy Stone, we'll put that in storage. All of this stuff right here. Materials and such. Final Journal entry. Never going to use that again. Uh, Web King's Ring, we want that in our inventory at all times. So that's going to be fantastic to keep on us. Arch Staff, Null Stilettos, and the Ferric Talon. We're going to throw away. What else do we have? Anything else? Nope. We just... Really heavy all the time for some reason. Let's go ahead and just throw all of this away out of Scarby's inventory. And we'll also start depositing one of these here. We want to deposit these festival pies, rocks, flasks of oil, a skull. And all of these materials as well can go into the void for all I care. Nothing special, nothing other. She does have a circlet, which we're getting rid of. And that's it. Will it be today? Actually, I uh, forgot to do Val. Val is a bit of a hoarder as well. Let's go ahead and just kind of empty out her inventory too. So that she's light enough to tackle on the days ahead. She's got a hammer for some reason. Weird. And I'm not too worried about Jill because if we get rid of her, all of the items she's carrying is going to be transferred into our storage regardless. So... Now that we've done that, we can go up to the castle, we can go and hand in this quest, and we should be done with the whole Selimit quest chain. And then we should be in uh, kind of like the final area of the game as well. I don't necessarily know if this is actually the armor we want to use, to be quite honest. Like, it's hard to tell. I do kind of like the look of it, though. The look of it is really, really sick. Now, what I don't know is whether or not I want to keep this Caged Fury on my back at all times. Might not be the thing we want, and we probably also really want to upgrade Scarby's daggers, the Rusted Daggers, to actually do uh, not only slow effects, but also poison damage, which is kind of powerful. Especially when you're fighting people like uh, the DLC boss. Poison is, is disturbingly potent. Alright, this should be Elduis, right? Hello! Uh, so, I'm going to give him the forgery right here. Done. The ring is reclaimed. I have the words to express my esteem, sir. Well, don't find them, because it's not real. The talisman of such power must be kept from those who would use it for ill purpose. The Duke will see it well guarded, and the faults in the castle's security mended. Pray let this lead us all to take greater care in the future. For now, you have my thanks. And you have my welcome. Okay. Good. Many within the castle praise your bold deeds of late. I have more tasks. All right, let's assist Sir Mercedes. I have a task I wished entrusted to you, sir. But Sir Mercedes insisted it be hers instead. She was most adamant. Though she is a knight come in good faith to aid us, she remains daughter to Hearthstone's lord. It does my heart no ease to see her undertake such a dangerous errand. Alas, in the face of her ardent petition, there was naught I could do but accede. Can I ask that you at least accompany her, sir? 
She must be kept safe. Sure. My thanks, Arisen. Pray go and speak to Sir Mercedes. I will do that. Now, Sir Mercedes is actually a Dame. It's, a, it's Dame Mercedes, not Sir Mercedes. If you want to go off of knighthoods. And the whole thing about Mercedes... Hello, lady, what's up? Are you a warrior come to help his grace then, sir? Yep, I am. Uh, Mercedes is actually from the area that the second game takes place in. What the hell do these guys want? Oh, I see. Hello, this is Mercedes. I take it you've heard. Then you'll know that this task is mine. I'll not be an idle burden on the Duke's hospitality any longer. And surely you've won enough glory, sir. Allow me this one chance to approve myself. No. You cannot stay me in this matter, sir. I will not be thought an idle ornament any longer. Besides, this matter concerns Lord Julian as well. There is talk of dark happenings at the Stone of the North. Lord Julian's watch. He set out for the hold himself some time ago, but there has been no word since. As a fellow guest come to Grancy's aid, I cannot simply leave him to his fate. I would insist on going alone, but you no doubt have your own reasons for going. Yeah, quest progression. I will not stop you from joining me, but neither can I wait. Follow if you wish, sir. I am off. All right, I'm following. In fact, we're probably actually going to beat her there because we are significantly faster. We know exactly what we're doing and we're not screwing around here. We probably actually... Uh, so there's a couple of ways of beating this level here that we could probably exploit, right? Because I already know what the rewards are. We can either get a shield for doing it one way or we could get a sword for doing it another way. Both of the rewards we have completely outclassed by now. The skeleton key has respawned. Let's go ahead and take that so we can get ourselves out of jail for free one day. Uh, we're going to go straight to, I think it's Wind Bluff Tower. It's not Blue Moon Tower where the griffin lives. That's not where we're going. All right, we're going to come over here. And we're going to see whether or not the Caged Fury is actually any good. Because I do remember it having a good functional utility, maybe in Bitter Black Isle. But I, I don't remember what that function actually was. All right, a lot of enemies around here. I think this, it was kind of like, it's stacked with holy, right? Hello there. Oh, I thought that was Madeline for a second there. It was just someone else's pawn wearing Madeline's garb. I was about to say that is really, really weird to see Madeline kind of like over there. Okay. So, I think it's also daytime too, so we shouldn't have any trouble Grand getting there. The beating heart of all Grunses. Show you a beating heart. I'm gonna rip it out of your chest. Uh, actually, we don't have a, a beating heart, which is pretty funny. Let's give ourselves holy affinity before we run out of stamina. The capital is not without its dangers. Best we remained cautious. Oops. Arisen. Probably should have just uh, kept casting it. But we do have the holies. I think that uh, if you cast it twice as potent as you could, all it really does is uh, extend the amount of time that it takes for it to dissipate. I could be wrong on that though. I don't, I don't, there's a lot of mechanics in this game that I don't necessarily know off the back of my hand. Okay, we're at this bridge right here. Uh, if anybody remembers there's kind of like a, a giant fortification off in that direction, that is where we are going to. So that's, that's our destination. We'll pop off. And looking around here, what the hell is that? Well this bridge. The hell is going on over here? Guys? What is that? Will serve as a fine is that a cockatrice? Oh, this never connected. What say you, Arisen? Quite the prize, eh? Twas I what found it. Though I'll claim no glory in the beast's death. Seems the makers at last taken note of all my good deeds. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, there is... Uh, this is story-related. I've never seen this before. I didn't actually know that this was open and able to be found. Let's go ahead and give ourselves holy affinity because I'm pretty sure we're about to encroach on a goblin encampment. And then we'll just see how potent the Caged Fury is. Because I'm pretty sure it's got a potency that you really can't look past, right? I think. Oh, look at her. She'd probably actually make a good companion. Hello there, niece. Yeah, sure. Let's replace Jill with her. Jill is expensive, but she's a two-handed warrior, which means she's virtually worthless. Unfortunately. Uh, Jill, you can have a beast steak. Get that protein in you. There you go. Uh, sure, I'll give you a great rating, by the way. I don't even know how she looks. That's the thing. <laughs> I'm just a big tipper. Okay, piss off, Jill. New friendship with a niece. Or anus. I, I don't actually know how we're supposed to be saying his name. 
Is that oh. some sort of structure? That looks good. Ah, uh, good. Goblins. Okay, let's check out this Cajun Fury. Let's see the damage scaling of it. It's not impressive so far. And we still can't take a single hit either. Actually, the oh, it does it gets very powerful very quickly. Oh yes, that's precisely what we want. Excellent. So it's got a bit of a potency to it. You just need to actually land quite a few hits with it first. Has weakened the Duke's defenses in the north. That's unusually specific. Thank you uh, for the law dump. I suppose. I'm going to give myself necromancy, and we're going to try not to get hit by these harpies, because if we do get hit by the harpies, we lose our gigantic strength. Uh, sorry, we lose our streak of damage. All right, someone's going to have to touch me now. Is it going to be Anus? Is Anus going to come touch me? Yes, Anus came and touched me. Good for her. Good for her. All right, let's go over here with our necromancy and see if we can't take on these harpies. Good. Oh, my days. The necromancy is potent in this one. Good grief. I love that. I actually love that. Okay, let's see what damage we do now. Because Holy doesn't... Oh, my God. The scaling is crazy, actually. Look at all the damage we're doing to these harpies. Okay. I like that. <laughs> I really like that huge high damage buff. Why am I like... Oh, I see. So, yes, when the Cage Fury gets a maximum, maximum power, we glow blue. That's essentially how that mechanic functions. Okay, we'll come up this hill right here. And we want to go up into this keep, essentially. I know it's a gross, windy day. Where the wind is kind of like a little bit weirdly silent, but it is what it is. Okay, let's conserve our stamina really, really quickly. And we'll get our... Let's get holy... At least get necromancy out. Uh, there is going to be a couple of little things that we're going to have to dodge where we are going, but ultimately I think necromancy might actually be the thing that kind of sets us over the edge of being able to do it other than, you know, taking hits, which quite frankly is just not an option. Thank you, Anus. Anus gave me a good touching. And now we're up. Here we go. Okay, perfect. So we've got enemies in here. I'm going to try and kill all of them with my necromancy. Excellent. In fact, let's uh, go ahead and... Let's just cast Maelstrom right in the middle of this battlefield. I think that's going to be the way, right? Let's try for a Maelstrom. We are casting faster, by the way, now, because we uh, have the Worm King's Ring. I think we only got one of them, though. No, we got two of them. Damn, they got launched. They got launched! Okay, I don't think they can actually be killed, to be honest. There is a couple of kind of, like, unkillable enemies in here to artificially inflate the... Got a sense of urgency that this location has. I'm going to go ahead and give myself Holy Affinity, and I think Anus is going to come and touch me. Anus? No. I don't need Anus's warm embrace. Embranus. Okay. Come up here onto this castle rampart, and we should find Mercedes diving off into this alleyway right here. Don't worry, she's not looking for a glory hole. Like that one would be a glory hole for Cyclopes. Uh, she is actually looking for a fist fight. You colluded with salvation to work sedition among the Duke's men. Salvation? You place me in ill company. I'm a man of this world. Fantasies of death and redemption concern me not one whit. Now legends. Legends stoke up the masses. If Duke Edmund were to best a second dragon... Uh-huh. Francis would take the Ascendant. What does that mean? The neighbors ill want a giant looming at their borders, am I wrong? Spare me your sophistry. The word neighbor sours on your forky tongue. Our lands have long sworn unstinting aid to any neighbor be sip of the dragon. <laughs> Unstinting, you say? Tell me then. Why has your Lord Father not sent your brother, joined by Hearthstone's finest steel? Why am I speaking instead with a bleating she goat mocked even by her own men? You will retract those words, sir. No, we won't. Else suffer what consequence? 
So these two are, fr are from the uh, same place. They're kind of like bordered neighbors to Granzies. You. you will play huh? her second. I would welcome the challenge. Ah, <sighs> uh, no, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> not my place. Open mockery of me and my homeland. I wonder what that mask is made of. They trusted you are above the beast yeah, they're both from uh, different places. They're, they're from you're overseas, like and they're actually from the location that Dragon's Dogma 2 takes place in. So that was really interesting. A lot of people were really excited to see kind of like how that goes. What's in here? Anything to loot? Not really. They were convenient to my purpose, nothing more. Who's going to win? Edmund Dragon's Bane is past. He will not slay another worm. Damn, she can hop. So what cost is served by sending men to die for his pleasure? The swift the thrust. Of oh no! Is the greatest she been hit. To her neighbors. And what of those of this land who will die for your peace? Will you stand idly by while a people lose their land, their very lives to a plague of beasts? Yes, he you will. No night villain. Pray, think of the morrow. The dragon will come again to your homeland and to mine. Who oh, yeah? shall stand against it then if we are spent, all of us, for having held to some ancient pact? What is gained by all our deaths? Not, I say, and not would say your Lord Father. How dare you, sir? I will not suffer such slander. You know it to be true. Has he sent his finest blades? A general fit to lead them? No, he sent an ornament, so she be too daft to see it. Tis an empty show. Damn, that guy's got some stamina. Look at him go! He's wailing away on her. But that was close. Do it! Your head is a meager trophy. The men of the fort may have use of you yet. Even a she god's skin can warm a desperate man of nights. What? He's no slander beneath you? The duel is well and settled, Arisen. Be gone from my sight at once. We did this! We did this. Oh, sucks to be her. Mercedes? I've no more patience to indulge your play at knighthood, little girl. More like Volvo. Your failure to quell the revolt is cause enough to run home to Hearthstone, tail twixt your legs. I tell you this in the spirit of mercy. If you cannot best me, you cannot best the dragon. Run along home while you yet live. We'll get him in the next playthrough. <laughs> Do you think me cruel, Arisen? Tis a sorry truth that righteousness is a rare luxury in war. I am you so are short. You to slay the worm, and that alone. No oath binds you to the Duke, nor would my death do you any great service. There are those might call me a monster, but I am no dragon, sir. What say you? Yeah, food for thought. Whatever the hell that meant. I still don't know. I still don't know what the hell that guy's deal is, I to be quite honest. Make a pitiable sight. Well, yeah, when you I hang mean, your head like that. I am a meager choice to send us aid. I know it well. Still, I... I could not. I'm not even looking at her. Okay. Enjoy your sulking. Bye-bye. I fear I put on a shameful display. You don't say. Lord Julian had the truth of it, every word. I am weak. I serve no purpose here, save as hollow homage to an empty pact. Aids in name only. Hearthstone or Grancis, there's not a man in either who expected anything else of me. I knew it well enough, tasted it on every breath I drew. Yet still, I fancied myself a knight. A reason. I will return to Hearthstone. Her accent's slipping. Not to lick my wounds, 
but to petition my Lord Father that grants his people receive true aid. I will not send you to meet the dragon with their fates weighing upon you. After, I shall return here to aid you however I may. Excellent. I am a fool. A little. Pray, accept this token. I haven't much to give, but it would please me to know it provided you some small comfort on your journey. Okay. What is it? What are you giving me? Is it just pocket sand? What'd she give us? So, we probably got the sword from that one, right? Yeah, here we go. Her rapier. I don't know how it's supposed to say it. A simple sword, what's become an uncommon sight, as its narrow blade is not favoured by most Granzi's knights. I don't blame them. I'm definitely a hand and a half kind of guy myself. Okay. Let's have a look at that rise in the land. There may be ought to harvest. What are you talking about? Duke aims to ring all Granzi's of the strongholds. Okay, so we're done here. Let's go ahead and use the... Where is it? The Eternal Fairy Stone. We're going to go back to uh, Grand Sorin right here. And we should find a bit of an uncomfortable situation, right? We should find that there is, in fact, some kind of gigantic monstrosity in here. Maybe not just yet, but there will be. There most certainly will be. Okay, so... We can go up there, right? We'll go ahead and look at our quests. Right before a fall, right? That's what we need to do? Yeah, definitely. Report back to Alduis. We'll do that now. Okay, let's go ahead and run up the staircase and... Yes, I know. I was just saying so, Anus. Do they? Anus is spitting hot fire right here. I don't know what the hell she's on, but it's, uh... It's some kind of exposition. I don't know, like... Exposition, uh, train? I don't want to use the word train because I know it's got negative connotations in the in the corn hub <laughs> uh, spheres, but yeah, it's the same the same thing, same thing basically. Still looking for the uh, quest of bugger the Duke's wife. Uh, we've also lost all of our power. Hello, the Elders. How are you? It's, it is a t we must okay, I don't know what he said. I skipped it. What? Very well. I shall see to it at once. A matter what is of the it? most pressing nature has come to us. Make for the southern way castle immediately. Sure. I've received a report that one of the Duke's men has returned from afar gravely wounded. I know why. He asks to speak with you in all haste, Arisen. Tis odd his message was not writ in the report. An oversight brought on by haste, no doubt. Mm. Pray, fly to the way castle and hear the man's message, sir. Meanwhile, I am to see the Duke on another matter no less urgent. Tis a restless day. I'm back. Where the chat has been empty ass heck. Yeah, it's, it, it's been probably because I'm playing a game that came out in 2012. <laughs> to be quite honest. Uh, I insist on finishing it though. I actually do want to finish it. Uh, just at least have one finished playthrough up on the tube. Just so that we can uh, kind of like polish it off the list and... Even if I don't come back for a second playthrough, at least I'll know that I did finish this game, which is, uh, it's, it's for me. I'm playing this for me. All right, let's go through this here passage gate and I'm going to go straight off the ledge right here. I mean, that is the whole point of the streams. I'm, I'm streaming all of these uh, games just so I have the time to upload an entire playthrough and still not be too bogged down. So I kind of like the feeling that I should be finishing something. But I'm not going to. Okay, we'll come all the way down here. There's that lady dresses Madeline again. I don't think that she is supposed to be there. She was in the exact same place that we kind of left her at as well. It's just someone else's pawn. Someone else's pawn walking around. We're also not going to hire him. I love how, since we are so short, we have to be dropped onto the ground every time we load in as well. It can't just, like, find our height and then place us on the ground. It literally has to be a, like, a uh, drop. The capital is not without its dangers. Best we remain cautious, Good to know. So we're going all the way back to the uh, fortification that we were just at. And then we got to come to uh, Gran Sorin, I think. Almost ran out of stamina. Glad we didn't. 
kind of weird, actually. I was expecting more monsters to be just kind of up and about, maybe around. Maybe a griffin of some sort? Is there a griffin in the sky? No. No griffins anywhere! Why are the characters panting like a dog? Oh, I've got a really, really uh, high voice on my this character here, Funko. And every time he gets tired, he lets everybody know about it by just whistling his breaths uh, about as loud as he can. He's one of those guys. He, he likes to be heard when he complains. He can't just shout things out into the void and be done with it. Oh my gosh. What? Have you not seen this guy before? This guy is uh, iconic. Look at him. So tiny. <laughs> He's angry as well. He's got short man syndrome. I tried to make a nice character, but then at the same time, I also wanted it to be really, really uh, kind of cringe and a little bit funny. Okay, I'm going to start sprinting again. Uh, sadly, as a consequence, he's also tiny and he can't run very fast because his, his legs won't carry him very far whatsoever. So our stamina just gets dumped about as soon as we use it, which is a little bit annoying, especially since we're a sorcerer class and our entire damage, all of our damage is dependent on stamina. Being able to generate stamina, having stamina, uh, not being really, really puffed and uh, wanting to kind of collapse onto the ground and, and swear and and scream and crap himself and stuff like that. Just throw a tantrum, essentially. Bro makes every character look like him. You're just like me, I do the same thing. This doesn't look like me, I just gave him a magnificent... This guy's head is like this big on, on me. This guy has the biggest jawline ever. I think I was trying to make Captain Quark. 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 How do you say that? I don't know how to say that. Captain Quark from uh, Ratchet and Clank. And unfortunately, he... Um, he had to expose his face. Okay, we're almost at the quest destination. Probably could have put down a port crystal here just to really speed it up, but we don't actually have any. So this is about as fast as we're going to get in the first playthrough. Get those out of the way so we don't have to go around them, of course. Uh, let's put that back on our back. Discount Yinsen type character. <laughs> he is very discount, isn't he? Although he's also very big. Okay, so what's my dingle should be in here, right? Even the dragon's coming is not enough to... Please don't tell me we have to, like, do something else. Oh, the Way Castle! No, it's not here. It's the one in between Grand Sorin and Cassidus, isn't it? So if we kind of, like... If we go to Cassidus... No, actually, there's one right there. We can literally just spawn straight at the objective because I, I fought a little bit forward. Dollar Tree type of haircut. <laughs> yes, big. Yeah, he'd be good ammunition to put in a trebuchet or a catapult or something like that. Just make a nice big explosion of meat. It probably wouldn't make much of an effect, but it would really reduce morale. Okay, we're here. Right at the Waycastle gate. Hello? Where's the guy I'm supposed to be speaking to? Where is he? He's supposed to be here. Where are you, Dingle Dangle? All oh, right, here he is. Arisen, please. Now, bro's grandma said he looks handsome. Arisen, <laughs> urgent word from the capital, sir. You are to return to all this aside with all possible haste. How'd you get here so fast? I love how he still goes out of his way to salute me. Uh oh, the city's on fire. The city is literally on fire. Easy feeling about this. You like the little funny character? Uh, you're probably going to like the pawn that we've got. P-A-W-N, by the way. It's not P-O-R-N. It's not Cornhub. It's literally a uh, the person that just works for us. So it's kind of like a, a given. We're going to be building her as a WrestleMania grappling type character. <laughs> Which is quite funny because it's not really an intended build, but it's a build that's very, very funny to see. I'm going to make her completely unarmed eventually, and we're just going to give her uh, these gloves that essentially allow her to grapple and increases their strength. Uh, right, let's go ahead and give ourselves holy affinity. Excellent. And we also probably want necromancy as well. And then we will engage with this cockatrice, which is just over here. I think it's actually about to spew a bunch of crap at us. Ah, uh, poos. That's not good. Yes, uh, we don't want anybody turning to stone. Val is probably not going to recover from that, let's be completely honest. Okay, so Necromancy is doing literally nothing. We don't really want to target him. Holy does a bit of damage. Excellent. 
I know fire does heaps and heaps of damage. Okay, Val is really seriously injured now. Let's go ahead and just give her one of our uh, secret softeners. Right here, you can have this Val. Boom! Don't get petrified again, idiot. Okay, I'm just going to start peppering this thing with holy magic because I know it locks on. Oh, you know what, actually? Piss on this. Let's use Maelstrom. Or we could actually use Bolide, but I don't think Bolide would be a good move. Where the hell is it? I don't see it around these corners. There it is. Okay, so we could probably actually just cast this here while it's thinking about casting on us. Val just got petrified again! Seriously? Lady, what are you doing? Are you taking the piss? Come off it! I will I will not do anything of the like, lady. Alright, let's cast High Bolide, because it's fire type. And we definitely want to do a lot of damage against this guy about as fast as possible while he's on the ground. Right, that, we've got the first little bar full. And what the hell is this guy doing? Just walking around. My dude! Okay, we cast Bolide. Probably going to be a couple of them hit the Cocktress right there. Whoa! Who's turning to stone? Scarby! No! Let's go ahead and give the Secret Softener to Scarby. Everyone is turning to stone. Don't really care about Anus. Val. We can just get her back. Dude, you want to get out of the way? Or not. That's fine. Okay, good. The Cockatrice is now on fire. Probably want to continue on with Bolide, right? We, we just want to spam Bolide against this guy. Scarby is ducking and dodging like crazy. I hope she ducked and dodged there. Excellent. Uh, we are now floating. Scarby just got petrified again. Are you serious? Jesus, lady! I can't believe... I literally cannot believe that. Okay, one of the bowl lights hit him. Scarby is actually doing a bit of damage to the cockatrice. I'm going to go ahead and just spam bowl light, and I'm pretty sure at around about half of its HP down, it's going to run away. You know, it would be cool, a 3D side-screen style combat game with a pixelated effect, basically a combo-based pixelated 3D fighting game. Okay, it's gone. Everyone is dead but us. Whew. That'd be so cool, seeing 3D models with a pixel effect. I love how the text sounds overlap each other. It sounds goofy. It does sound goofy, doesn't it? This game definitely has a charm to it. Ah, well. Rip, Scarby. She tried her best, but it just wasn't good enough. This is some big daggers. All right, good. Anus is dead as well. We're probably not going to get her back, unfortunately. Let's go and hand in this quest. We definitely survived, which is kind of <laughs> the objective, I suppose, of what we're just uh, trying to accomplish. I'm going to go ahead. We're going to go in this pawn guild. Please don't bluff me, sir. Good. And we are going to summon Scarby and all of our pawns back. Anus, you did not name her that? No, I, d I didn't name her that. That's someone else's pawn. Someone else's little companion. Uh, basically how the party system works in the Dragon's Dogma games is you can create one companion and you create the character that you control yourself, right? So when you have created your companion, it then gets uploaded to a cloud and it updates every time you go sleep. Other people can rent out that companion to fill out their party of four. You can get a party of four. Yes, this one right here, Val, she is a friend of mine. She has an awesome little staff on her back that allows her to resurrect herself every time she goes down. Uh, Gemma's pretty crazy looking. Get Gemma. <laughs> yes, hey, you want to come join me? I am honored to travel with you. Sounds great. Excellent. Great to have your bazingas on board. Whoa, look at this guy. Yes, Arisen? No. No, there's only room in the party for one tiny little person. Uh, we also need to go and get Scarby, which is our little companion. I don't think she respawned. Oh, there she is. Excellent. So we filled out our party. Now, the reason I've got Val is because I don't want to have to do a search and then filter through all of the pawns in the game to try and find a pawn that has, like, Grand Anodyne or anything like that, because the whole point of the uh, mage class that Val is is to essentially kill. Not much more. Provide support. That's it. That's literally the entire purpose, and a lot of people build them out to be kind of like damage dealers, which is just an absolute inefficient waste of a class slot, and if you accidentally like see them on the side of the road, what damage have I wrought in carelessness? You don't want to allow an agent of salvation through, and in sending you away before the creature was revived, the damage was all the greater. 
while I, in my fool credulity, ran to the castle, only to be knocked incensed by some villain. Twas a lucky thing the beast was kept from the residential quarter. Ugh, or the castle. We must rethink the practice of tribute to prevent such a happening again. For now, though, the danger has passed. What of the damages? My party? We held our ground somehow. Not a single trophy was lost, sir. No, we didn't. We it's did. a testament to the efforts of the Arisen. You have our thanks, sir. This guy was just walking around. We actually uh, killed Truly, him with sir, one magic you hit. You are a wonder. You've handled the task perfectly. What a twit. That guy just lied. Slain and the treasure unscathed. Who cares about the treasure, it honestly? The first chapter of a new legend, sir. <laughs> or at the very least, a task well done. Great. Thank you for this awkward stare. This is enough validation for me. Thank you very much. Magic spamming is so disrespectful in Mellow Games. It is really disrespectful, but that is the class that we are playing. <laughs> yes, that's, that's exactly how we're playing the game. Hail Arisen. Good news. What is it? His Grace has taken notice of your feats and selected you to lead an expedition. Gross. Okay, so he's noticed our feet. It's a difficult task, but of critical importance to the defense of the front. The Duke was adamant that none would do so fine as you, sir. Okay. The journey will take you afar, Arisen. How far? If you have tasks to complete or personal matters to attend to, pray, do so now. No, I'm, I'm, I'm here for the end of the it's world. Like you will not see Grand Soren for some time. Sure. Then come. The Duke <laughs> wished to see you before you set out. That yeah, doesn't bother me. Make for the Duke Solar. Okay, let's make for the Duke Solar. The Jester is sitting on the throne. How appropriate. This is basically the, um, this is Trump's presidency in a nutshell right here. Uh, sir, where are you going? Did you mean to walk around? Do I have to walk around this card as well? Is that something I have to do? What about this chambermaid? Do I, do you want me to take her with us? No? Okay, uh, we could probably, no, we actually, we can't move faster than he can. Don't let him get away. Accept your fate. What fate? I picked a man up. Let's go. I finally caught the stream outside of school. Awesome. Okay, we got arrested. Awesome. We escaped. Hello there, sir. Told in a bit of coin will buy your freedom. Oh, sure. I mean, we just used a... Uh, we just used a skeleton key, but honestly, I think it's fine. He's not actually about to unlock the door, is he? What an oaf. What an actual oaf. Okay, we just got arrested for picking a man up and then putting him back down. Let's go ahead, throw these here rags on the ground. Unequip them, yes, and now discard them. Excellent. And now let's equip all of our good stuff because apparently we didn't have any of it equipped. All right, and this nice little headband, the tiara of enlightenment, and of course our ancient bangles. Oh, and don't forget our cotton hosen, and of course our ancient greaves too. And our cloak, the dire wolf cape. I think we can actually fit another. Yeah, we, we can wear like a chest plate or something underneath. We'll do that. We'll do that before we leave. We'll, we'll definitely do that. My dude, you literally just scoop someone out of nowhere without elaborating in front of guards. It's fine. Honestly, I, I, don't, I don't think there's anything wrong with scooping someone out of nowhere. So long as you put them down where you found them and you don't take them away from where you pick them up, right? Like, if you just go and pick somebody up and then put them back down, what is the harm? It's just it's just trying to get a squat in. Okay, where's the Duke Solar? Is this the Duke Solar? No, this is the storehouse, which I've ransacked. That guard there is absolutely terrible at his job, by the way. Chamberlain's office? Who's in here? You aren't the Chamberlain. Okay. What about in here? Is this the Duke Solar? No, that's not the Duke Solar whatsoever. What about in here? Is this the Duke Solar? This is the Duke Solar. Excellent. Hello there, Duke. It seems the office of Arisen brings with it equal parts strength and ambition. I am greatly pleased by your work, sir. I would see you rewarded for all you've done. Come, follow me. I have aught to give you before you set out. You don't remember people on YouTube uh, comments on streams? Honestly, I'm the same. I, I got to recognize people based on their uh, their profile picture. That's pretty much how I work. So we are going to be following this Duke right here. I'm, we did just get arrested for picking a man up and then putting him back down. 
But hilariously, uh, we are actually being taken right now to the treasure room of the castle, and he's going to allow us to ransack the entire place with zero repercussions, which is a little bit of a dichotomy, right? It's, it's a little bit of a, um, a, a bit of an issue. Okay, let's go down here. Come on, Duke. If only there was a way to, like, speed him up by smacking his ass or something like that. But I'm pretty sure if we tried to smack his ass, then we'd just kind of, like, connect our hand with the cape and it'd just make, like, a, a weird damp sound. And the Duke would just be all like, what was that? What was that noise? And he won't realize that we intended to smack his ass and we'd have to, like, explain. I'm oh, sorry, Duke. We tried to slack your ass, but you're wearing too much clothes. Because we've got a really high-pitched voice as well. Oh, I love this walk. That's a good walk. Okay. He's going to tell us to ransack the area. Let's do it. Take what you want. <laughs> Strange. The ring ought to hold sway over the lock that binds this chest. No matter. I shall see its contents are delivered to you later. Perhaps time has dulled the ring's magic. So we can't open that chest, by the way. We literally can't do it while the Duke is here watching us. We are going to ransack the treasury as well. We are literally not going to leave a single thing tied down. Oh, yes. Look at all this loot. And we have a limited time to do so as well. Damn it. So Is close. News, your grace. A messenger has come bearing word from the Great Wall. The hold has fallen to a man calling himself the leader of salvation. He's taken captives and threatens to offer up a grand sacrifice to see the land cleansed. The expedition will keep arisen. Head for the Great Wall at once and quash Salvation's designs afore they're realized. This matter takes precedence over all others. Now go. He's got a weird voice for someone who tried to strangle his wife to death. Um, by the way, like, I make typos every now and then every so often as well. I, I, I don't think it's, uh... I don't, I don't really think it's worth kind of, like, <laughs> pointing out, right? Typos? Stuff like that? What is this? Foreign knife. Nice. That's mine now. Flask of water. I'm taking that. I don't know what's in this pile down here, but I'm taking it as well. Uh, what else have we got? Now, we don't want to open this right in front of the Duke because we have the ring that actually does open that. Out we go! We'll, we'll come back here. We'll come back here after sundown and then we'll ransack it as best as we can. All right, where are we? What are we doing, actually? Let's look at our quests. Deny salvation. Make for the Great Wall and route the Salvation Cultists within. I can do that. That is simple. That's very simple. Bro's on that good cushion alcohol. Uh, guys, you make typos. It happens. It, it just happens. You guys you should have been around back when phones had buttons. I swear to God, you would have all been driven literally insane. You had to actively press buttons and because of how frequently you had to hit the buttons, people would choose to make typos just for... Uh, just for the sake of brevity. So it was easier to type a message. Alright, where are we going? Uh, we probably want to use a tool, don't we? We probably want to use the Eternal Fairy Stone right here. And we want to go to... A place we've already marked out on the map right here. Bartercrags. Beautiful. We've already solidified this place as a fast travel point, And we're about to go there. I'm joking with what I've been teasing him. We've arrived. Okay. Perhaps fortress is meant to protect Grancis from the dragon. It okay. Look very solid. So we're moving onwards. This is the end of the game, by the way. There are no men here. There is only a risen and also a party of females. That's how we roll. All right, we're here. We're at the Great Wall. They attack. Ready for battle. Oh, run away! It's two cyclopes and a billion harpies. How did they get here? I don't know. <laughs> Un, as they say in France. And pla. Oh, that's going to be an annoying fight, but you know what else is an annoying fight? Adding a billion harpies to the to the game as well. Oh, great. I love that so much. Screw this. Go. Everyone, defend me. I'm going to try and cast a spell. 
And if they kind of like take me out while I'm casting this, you are all going to hell. I, cannot I swear to God. Oh, you penises! <laughs> they put me to sleep. They actually put me to sleep That's just as I was about to cast it too. All right, I almost just got one hit. Thank you, everybody, for the uh, useless help. Christ on a crutch. My God. We want to cast a Maelstrom, basically in the middle of this area right here. Okay, I think we'll get it this time, unless we get fallen asleep right away, like right here. Hopefully we don't get hit by the Cyclopes either. Okay, so that should take out all of the Harpies. Good. Good, 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 good. Don't want to get me up? Nope, Gemma is going to go and wail away on the asses of these enemies here. I'm now going to... Oh, this. Okay, we, we just got one hit. That's fine. Ah. Gets and owns and uses women to tackle big buff men and goblins. Goblin D's no! Yes, yes, we are Goblin D's no. I We definitely we definitely gobbled some, some of D's nuts in this instance right here. All right, we can't allow them to aggress onto us. Uh, very annoying, honestly, very annoying indeed. Let's go ahead and try and cast Maelstrom. When they're not like specifically looking at us. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do it right here. I'm gonna attack here and we're gonna hope for a, for a Maelstrom to proc. There is an explosive barrel, barrel right next to us. So if we do not get the attack on us, someone attacking us is going to be hit by the barrel. Okay, that should pull in the harpy that's singing right there. Good, did it. Excellent. And now I am going to cast a high bowline. Now the harpies are all out of the way. Oh, poos! <laughs> oh, one of them just shouted, open your eyes. It doesn't matter if we have our eyes open. We're going to be hit by one of them. Have you tried throwing bird seed onto the goblins? Because those birds just look like overgrown seagulls. They are overgrown seagulls. They're essentially just overgrown seagulls. Okay, uh, so Maelstrom is actually definitely a viable strategy right here. Good. I think there is a heart. Yeah, they can't attack us from behind this uh, tent right here. Never mind. I completely take that back. Uh, they're probably also going to prop that sleep on us as well, which kind of sucks. Let's go ahead and try and cast Maelstrom again. And then we'll kind of like, we'll try and just dodge everything. Because we're in a bit of a bad spot here with these two Cyclopes. I'll try and cast this right in between those two Cyclops, so they're kind of like dragged into the middle of it. All right, good. We are now dealing maximum damage with our weapon. Val, what are you doing? Do you want to maybe get into the fight? You want to fight some of those enemies, maybe? No? Usually for big boxes, I just poke at them and then dash back and run for my life until the cooldown goes off. Yep, that's pretty much what we're doing here. It pays no heat to it. All right, I think Bolide is probably going to be the best bet, right? I think we've got one of them aggroed against us, which is a little bit obnoxious. Yep, they're definitely aggroed against us. That is very obnoxious. Uh, let's try a Bolide, a high Bolide. Guys, go. Uh, uh oh, that's not good. Fight me if you dare. This one is probably going to one hit us. I'm casting, just so we can get out of the way faster. We probably didn't even need to. Okay, we definitely struck one with a bowl line. We struck two with a bowl line. It's pretty good. All right, I'm starting to sprint. Get away from that guy who's swinging his mace at us as cudgel. Actually, we do have access to High Levin, don't we? So we could probably actually just shock this guy, right? Yeah, good. Okay, so he's dropped his cudgel. That's half of the issue done and dusted. We also want to go ahead and do this guy too, don't we? Done. Boom, boom, boom. He dropped his cudgel. Hilarious. Good, 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 good. Now let's go ahead and try Bolide. We'll try and get a really big Bolide off. Don't come near me, please. Okay, I don't know what they're doing. They're just kind of standing there, staring into the the abyss of that tower right there. All right, Bolide! It's going out, and I need someone to get me up as well because I'm going to be really tired after this. Boom! Whoa, there's a whole health bar. Oh, nice. Bolide is very effective against them. Perfect. Okay, one of them left. So this is going to be a much easier fight than before. Let's just try Engle for now. And as soon as he kind of like stops moving, good. We'll fire those. Excellent. Hit him in the head. We could probably try for Bolide again. I know he's uh, quite a big, powerful guy. Let's actually stun lock him. 
We must be Did it work? Yeah, it kind of works. <laughs> Let's get ourselves a big, big living. Like this. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. Got him. Right, phone batteries low. Bye. Bye there, Gunner. It was nice to see you. I hope you get your stuff sorted soon. Awesome. Everybody start looting. I don't want to fill up my inventory with anything around here. I want you guys to get it all. I want all of you to start gathering all of this crap here. I don't want to have to touch it myself. I'll take that. Good. That's what I like to hear. And now since we've got What's that out this? of the way, let's also go ahead and save the game. Because if we don't save the game, we are going to be effed in the A. We don't want our Anise <laughs> to, to be wailed on. What is this? Rugged Tusk? Meh. We've got a thousand of those. So through here should be some skeletons. Let's go ahead actually and give ourselves holy affinity so we can spam the homing magic missiles. Very, very effective. Yes, this is the last mission in the game, by the way. Well, maybe not the last mission, but it's definitely kind of like the final element of the story. All right. Enemies should come up from over here. And I'm just going to cheeky cheeky fire off an absolute ass load of holy because these guys are good for experience excellent any more what the hell was that i think two of these guys just did the same voice line at the same time that was weird ah, final mission yeah it's really good isn't it it's it's a little bit bittersweet because i've probably been spending hours for a youtube playthrough just trying to beat this one game and i do have dragon Dogma 2 lined up and ready to go but at the same time man this one specifically, so, so, so hard to get through. These are long games, and I think that's half of the uh, kind of benefit of them. I'm getting away from that guy because he's blocking every single attack. Okay, I stunned him a little bit. I did take out one of the skeletons, which is awesome. And let's try and do another couple, but it, uh, it's just not as effective as I was hoping. We need to be behind them, don't we? Yeah, just like that. Perfect. That's what I like to see. Uh, what is down there? Who knows? Let's see. Uh, that is the exit to the next area of the map. You are a risen, I am a risen, yes. There is a couple of sorcerers here. This guy attacked me. I attacked him. That is how it goes. Oh my god, he's tough actually. He's really tough. We're tired. We're really tired. Uh, that's not going to be good when we give ourselves holy affinity. Uh, Vel, you want to cast some magic against him? Yeah, perfect. Excellent. Stun the other one as well. That item is mine. Is it? I'll take that. All right, let's give ourselves holy affinity once more, Perhaps we'd best and then we'll continue to push on through. Yet yeah, we are having a look around before we enter. We must stay calm. One Good. Time. This guy's trying to heal. Uh, we didn't want to attack that knight right there. We wanted to attack this guy right here, who is uh, healing everyone. Boom, 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 boom. Gemma is stuck on him, not knowing that he is actually somebody that we could probably take care of. All right, that guy is alive. Perfect. Let's go ahead and try and take these guys out. Maybe we can do it from... No, we can't get them to attack. Oh, you know what we can do, though? I actually know exactly what we can do. We can take whatever this thing is right here. It's pretty heavy, but we're going to throw it at the wall. Right here. Oh, that was useless. <laughs> we need, like, an explosive or something to get in there, I think. Yes, hello. The leader of those zealots made for the floor above. Really? There's a passage here will take you there more quickly. I'll open it. Yes, please. Brace for magic, Arisen. There must be a way Brace for magic. How about no? How about we loot all of the things that could be uh, found here? Whoa, okay. All right. Now, what I'm going to do here is a little bit of a, a cheeky, cheeky, little cheeky, cheeky. We are going to fire a maelstrom right up this corridor here because it's dirty and filthy and I love it. Unless we're hit by an ice spike, which we may be. Mm -hmm. Boom! Okay, good. Done. We took all of them out. Everyone up that stairwell just got taken out with a maelstrom. There's a couple of them still alive as well, but again, maelstrom took them out. Beautiful. So up here might not be too useful anymore, would it? We still need a couple of bombs. We need a, a gigantic cask that we can throw at a wall and have it explode. Oh my god, there's a giant sack of money down here, guys. Why don't you take this giant sack of money? I'll take that. That's what I was hoping she would say after we uh, found that giant sack of money. Yeah, I'm not seeing any explosives out here, so we're probably going to have to go up a little bit higher. There is a room full of explosives. We'll open it up, we'll see what's inside of it, and we'll get all the goodies. 
Stamina regeneration is absolutely revolting, though, to be quite honest. All right, what's in here? This is the uh, part that the other guy just kind of, like, opened up for us. What is it? Do we want to maybe pop a necromancy just to be on the safe side? I think we probably honestly do. At this point, we don't have any protection for our character. We still don't have a single lick of armor. Like, we're wearing robes, and they do an effect, but we don't actually have any protection right, whatsoever. Gemma just got us up. Nice. Thank you very much. This looks interesting. Doesn't it just? You guys want to loot that? Maybe? Okay, what is it? Plated coat! Jesus. That is actually very potent. Okay, I'm going to continue up here. Someone's probably going to grab that. Break that. We're coming through. Excellent. I'm going to grab this here. Explosive cask. And we're going to go down the staircase What's right here. This? Actually, there is a, a cask that's closer. So let's let's go ahead and grab that instead. Someone want to get me up? Thank you, Val. Don't worry. I'm here. Good. I wasn't really all that worried, but... I mean, thank I'll you for... That. Thank you for your concern anyway. So we've got to take this cask all the way down these stairs, which is actually a big ask, considering the length of our legs and our stamina is also quickly depleting. We've got to take it over here. There's a little glowing bit in the wall right here. And if we throw this here, boom! Door open! Excellent. We could probably actually cast a bolide in here and it would be absolutely fine. I don't know if there's going to be any left for us to kill though. Yeah, there's a few of them actually. Good, we cast a bowl light. Gonna be a little bit tired. But I think we're still in a pretty good place. Oh, that bowl light that landed well. That would have done a lot of damage too. Okay, so we're on the other side of here. Excellent. Down here, I think, is the next location we want to go down. We also want Holy Affinity before we kind of like trigger a guard spawn. Because we do have to save people here. They give us rewards. It is definitely worth it. I did that. Pray for the end. Uh, we are who? Who said that? Sorcerer. Oh, there! Sorcerer! Not much of a sorcerer, though. <laughs> what a loser. <laughs> awesome. Okay, I'm going to take this dose of courage. We're not going to need it, though, because we are very courageous regardless. Really? Oh, you can have it. So we are going to just spam Holy into here because it is what everyone is weak to. I think I'm witnessing an execution. Whoa, look at them. They're all giving us a, a bunch of crap. Thanks, everyone. It was far too close for my liking. Yeah, wasn't it just? Here, take this. Let it be of use to you, sir. What is it? I'll take that. What do you get? He didn't give us anything. This I'm gonna take this gigantic sack of money right there. Wait, did you just open this door? Okay, what is in here? This is a Rex Lion. Pa Actually, that is really good. That is, that is something we definitely want. Ooh. Right? Why does Scarby's "I'll take that voice line" sound like David from Hilda? I have absolutely no idea. What's Maybe. This? Maybe Hilda is actually kind of like a uh, an alternate universe of Dragon's Dogma. I'll take that. I'll be taking that. That's mine. This mine. Claimed. <laughs> Yike. <laughs> no, it just devolves into like weird dialect. It ain't. Yeah, it is. You you just pointed out. It is. It's, it definitely is. I'm I'm 100% confident that it's actually a subsidiary of Dragon's Dogma. Okay, good. I love it when things and voices sound so familiar. I love it's masterworks all. You can't mad. go wrong. Salvation is mad to conjure up such monsters. What, you never seen one of these before? Sure the rest of us. You really never seen one of these Forgive before, me, my sir. dude? But I'll not open this door. I'll not be food for those beasts. We've killed about six of these things. And I think this is probably the most generous arena as well. Okay, let's go ahead oh, and make sure we're not going to be aggroed on. We are currently aggroed on. I can see where the lion is aiming his little face. And what we want to do is we want to cast a bolide in here. Go, everybody. Go, go, gadget party. If I cast a bolide here, we may be able to take it out with one spell, which would be absolutely phenomenal. And casting. Boom. And we're out of stamina. All right, let's see if we can uh, out DPS it. Boom. Boom. Nice. Boom. 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 Okay, we did it. <laughs> We just beat a mini boss like crazy. There is barely even one piece of medieval stuff that in Hilda in three episodes. Amazing, sir, you are amazing. I thought the arisen little more than the stuff of old tales. How wrong I was. Eat your words. Huh? The door? 
the door. Of course, sir. I shall open it straight away. We didn't even flinch in that fight, by the way. We, we didn't take a single lick of damage. We didn't flinch. All we did was cast a single spell and then it just walloped the... Yeah, there's like these ballistae all around the place that you can kind of like use to fight it. But... We know how to beat it really, really well. We weren't avoiding bosses or anything. I think that's just so that people who do avoid bosses don't really have to do anything necessarily difficult. All right, now we want to loot this. Scabby, go. There may be yours here. Let me see. Yeah, I can see that there's things there. Pick it all up. Or some nice giant sack of money. I wonder why that Chimera was uh, so wealthy. It probably invested in uh, GameStop at the at the right point, right? Excuse me, Val. Need to get through here. This okay. Interesting. We have adequately rummaged through this room. You guys want to want to loot this place here? What's this? Dose of courage again. Thanks. Dose of strength. I don't know if I picked that up or if Scarby picked that up. Uh, loot away, guys. What have you got? Animistic robe. I think actually the the stuff that we have on us is probably better. All right, we've got a new weapon. We got the golden bastard. That is uh, my nickname. Uh, we also got a Rex Lion padding, which I'm pretty sure we could probably give to Funko, not Funko, Scarby. Actually, what's uh, Scarby's inventory looking like? Didn't we get a gigantic scale coat or something? What is this? Jade bangles? No, thank you. What else have we got? Gemma has some new things. Okay, so she got a plated coat, which is pretty damn cool. We'll give this to Scarby, who can't use it. All right, well, that settles that. Excellent. I'm leaving now. Bye. Okay, spray paints. You have a great evening. Okay, uh, I'll come up the staircase right here, which actually should be full Fair of nasties. There they are. There are the nasties. I'm going to give myself holy affinity. It probably shouldn't have spawned them in first. Wow, they are taking so many hits. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good at all. Let's also give ourselves high necromancy. Just because I Very think it would be a really well, good idea to have a little bit more defensibility while we run through these guys. Because they do kind of hit like a truck. Have a great 32 minutes and 44.3 and a half seconds. Okay, I will do that. I'll set a timer. I'll set a timer so I, I definitely have a great whatever that is. Okay, Necromancy actually did heaps of good. Let's go ahead and give ourselves Holy Affinity again. I think Necromancy may have cancelled it. Oh, there's this one guy who's taken massive hits over here, but I don't particularly give two hoots about him. And thus, he's taking many hits. Is he? Okay, good. I was joking with that. Okay, I'll have an awful 32 minutes and 44.3 and a half seconds. If you insist. Okay, let's pick up all this money, because uh, money is always good. Oh, there's still a sorcerer. They attack in quick succession. <laughs> he couldn't run away from my magic. What an oaf. All right, we'll come up here. And we should be in a good spot. We've got a couple of goodies in here. We've got an interventive. Those, I've never used one before, but I imagine they're okay. Got a faithful earring. Again, probably never going to use that. Wait, what? A strong shock with Sunder Witch Wall? Gemma? Here. Oh, true. Okay, let's strong shock it. Boom. Done. Hello, it's Jensen. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, that's how you get up behind them. Right, okay, gotcha. You don't need to set a timer, but you don't need, you need to have a uh, an awful 32 minutes and 44.3 and a half seconds. Jensen, 32 above. minutes villain arc? I'm always on my villain arc. I'm just sometimes yeah. less villainous than, than usual. Okay, let's try and get this guy from behind with Holy, because it will at least stun him. Yeah, I could smash Blunt. Let's go ahead and throw this down. Nice! Okay, that guy died, unfortunately. Sucks to be him. Uh, everyone, loot! Loot! Go! Loot! What are you doing? Uh, I did kind of want to... Oh! Oh, it's locked by a special key. So we actually need someone to open that, so we can't just, like, break the uh, barrier from the other side. And here we are, boss fight. Boss fight. Ah, the <sighs> Welcome. <laughs> it would seem our fates are closely bound. That guy's got a magnificent mustache. The honeyed sleep of destruction will find this place, and all the world in its turn. Indeed, the coming night ill needs us, its faithful harbingers. 
Just as you and your hubris cannot hope to stop the divine beast that mocked you. Before its might, you stand as useless and frail as this ungainly contrivance of brick and mortar. Nonetheless, the trice you might delay the dragon's coming is blasphemy just the same. Scabby's got two of those daggers. I fancy our odds. You'll stay for the boss fight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a boss fight. I wonder why they did that. Probably to try and stop him, right? Well, that's awkward. Ooh. brought my flock to see these walls reduced to dust. But first they shall peel the flesh from your bones, my dear Arisen. Oh, you can't feel that. Oh, it's not painful. All your pain nerves are kind of like in the skin. Or under the skin, or in between the skin. I forget. Okay, thank you for the weird exposition, weird greasy slug man. I will be killing your, uh... Your necromancy priests. Is that what they're called? God, they look so cool though, don't they? We already killed one of them. Now we have to kill two. A contrivance. Okay. So they're going to be casting a bunch of spells. Oh, would you look at that? A bunch of enemies. Let's just go ahead and start firing off a bunch of holy because it's really super effective against these dickheads. And we get experience for it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't cast High Bolide. Because this is an ass kicker of a spell. Especially against all of these uh, big crowds of enemies. See if I can't get greedy and get a, a, a big High Bolide as well. And casting. Boom. Excellent. Let's see. Boom. Boom. Nice. Excellent. I don't know if that actually did anything, but it is making a huge dent in their health. Excellent. They're also on for, oh my god, holy whales through them. Look at that. Oop, don't want to take any hits right there, otherwise we'll lose our damage stacks. Oh, we must stop it. We must stop it from conjuring. There we go, it's dead. And now, one of the most satisfying boss fights ever. This guy, right here, is about to go down. It's creepy and slimy. It was folly to worry of walls and armies while you still live. However, let's fight. <laughs> it seems my regret will be short lived. Let's fight. Don't you feel it? The very air dances around us. <laughs> it's called wind. Night is come. The You're come. Rain at last begins. <sighs> Alright, we, we, we ready for the boss fight? Merciful winged death! All powerful and merciless Gregory! So our entire purpose has arisen is to slay Gregory. Behold, you unrepentant blasphemers! This is absolute truth! This is salvation! <laughs> <laughs> Boss fight over! <laughs> oh, he just got squished. The rantings of an upjump zealot make for tedious listening. It does, doesn't it? Silk serves no role in what is to come. Only my death will staunch the flood of destruction. A task still far beyond your me. No, we can do that now, actually. If he just doesn't want to. face me, seek me out, and I shall allow it. But heed the zealot's lesson well. When the weak go death, may find it. Until then, I shall hold your little keepsake safe. That's our heart. He your took our heart. For will speak for my diligence in that. The choice falls not to me, nor to the whims of fate. It is yours alone. What a cool boss. Ugh. What a cool boss. Oh, 
Oh, we didn't get to loot those uh, necromancers. That's a bit of a shame. Could have got some whaling crystals. Funko's falling! Never has he been so high off the ground. On account of his size. That one kid in PE be like... <laughs> what, just like three foot tall? Scarby? Scarby, did you make it out alive? That is so cool. God, I love this boss so, so much. He's so awesome. Oh, they all made it out. That was unexpected. Leave it to me. Right, so we are now in the final stretch of the game. We should have access to better weapons, better gear, better everything, but I don't actually think that we will be uh, using any of them because essentially at this point, if we can kind of like get this Cage Fury staff to get Dragonforged, we may be able to take this through Bitter Black Isle. That'd be sick as well. My guy ran away in half speed. He did, didn't he? I think he was running away from the crumbling floor, but it didn't really serve so him any good on account of him falling there. through it. I'll show you a heavy anus. Uh, right, so now that we've got that out of the way, let's go ahead and use the Eternal Fairy Stone to go back to Grand Sorin because... Actually, there's one place we need to go that's not there, isn't there? We need to go to the Dragon Forge, who's a little bit of a fiddly wanker to get to. But, okay, we'll just walk there from Grand Soren, honestly. It doesn't look like we've got a port crystal. Bro fell over the floor and went straight to Narnia. He did go to Narnia, didn't he just? It's kind of weird, like, you, I, you mentioned earlier that this game is very medieval. It's not supposed to be, it's more supposed to be fantasy than medieval, but I suppose all of the architecture that the game took inspiration from a lot earlier into its development was definitely more medieval than no, anything else. Definitely pre-electricity. A lot of games kind of rely on this whole pre-electricity feeling, like Skyrim, Oblivion, Morrowind, Daggerfall, Redguard. The idols are set to come in. Which you, the master works all, you can't go wrong. Can't skip that. That is poetry. The master works all, you can't go wrong. All right, what have we got? So, we've got some new weapons, and it is the... Soling Newman. It does significantly more damage than we are doing with our... Weapon currently, however, our weapon uh, scales much higher than what that would allow. I'm actually going to go ahead and just buy myself any kind of protection for the chest. What can we get away with? Probably um, hard leather plate. That actually raises our resistances uh, very well. How about a bliat? Which is a slur in Russian. Uh, maybe not. Maybe we don't want the bliat. Okay, I'm going to go with this here hard leather plate. That's probably common sense, right? Just something that doesn't weigh us down. All right, good. I also love how in the Dragon's Dogma 2, the second game, you can kind of like edit your equipment from the store. It's Master so Master. nice. Good God, it's so nice. Let's deposit a bunch of our crap. And maybe if we've got time, do we have time? Remember to yeah, we've got a bit of time. Lodge. We'll go ahead and we'll finish the game. It's all well, friend. Yes, all big. is you well. Let's go ahead and manage our stored items. We're going to deposit everything that's not the first two in our inventory. Get rid of all of that crap. And now we are going to get rid of this one flask of water. Actually, we're going to get rid of both of them because we've already passed Fornival's quest, so we can't use it. Because we, whoops, sentenced him to death regardless of what we wanted. Batch merit, blank scroll, get rid of that. Uh, we probably don't need all three of these swords because we can't use them. Especially that really heavy 5kg one. Also, a five kilo sword is ridiculously light. Baleful nails. Be nice if we could keep those, but I'm pretty sure we've got both of our slots filled up with things we want to keep. Uh, Scarby has too much crap in her inventory. Let's get rid of all of this. Literally all of that. Don't need it. Uh, she's got two rocks in her inventory as well. That's how many it took for uh, Tail to get hidden the head. Uh, I'm sure he'll appreciate me saying that. <laughs> I'm, refer I'm referencing a uh, message in chat that I didn't reference earlier. Let's go ahead and put this free spoken earring down as well. And Val can unburden herself of Cloud One and a pretty stone. And she's also got some bangles right here. Done. Do today? Have your pick. Any you like. All right, Come good. Soon. So now we have to go up to the Dragon Forge, talk with him, and we are going to finish the game straight afterwards. I'm going to do a biological function because I really need to. And then we are going to go. We are going to fight Gregory and we are going to get our heart back. Even if it costs us our beloved, I don't care. 
Here we can rest, manage inventory and skills, and so on. Oh, that was fun. <sighs> Into an ASMR clip right now. What? Uh, could you guys hear me using the bathroom? Is, is that what was going on? Just move this so it doesn't look so weird. Up there? That's probably uh, significantly better, right? Okay. No? You couldn't hear me go into the bathroom? Oh, what's the point then? What is the point? Good. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and we've deposited everything. Yes. Scarvy is in battle stance for some stupid reason. We probably want to go to the Dragon Forge, don't we? Which we will find right after this. Actually, what kind of daggers does Scarvy have? She's got the Hydra Bow. I'm not entirely sure what kind of daggers she has. Let's go ahead and check by going into our equipment. And we'll go to Scarvy. Uh, what has she got? Crimson Teeth. I thought these would be elemental, but it turns out they're not. Eerie daggers bearing a skeletal motif. Employed in arcane rituals and said to feast on the blood of their victims. That is vile. That is actually vile. We probably want to get rid of that because, um, yuck. Disgusting. Very disgusting. There's probably better weapons now for Scarby, honestly. The idols are said to come in various ah. forms. I was joking with that, with the, but there was zero Which noise. Their master works all. You can't go wrong. You can't skip that. You literally can't skip that. Even if you try to, you just can't do it. All right, let's see what new weapons there are for Scarby. Bartashay daggers. These are significantly equal to or greater than what we have. Probably want to use them, though. I, I wanted something that was a little bit more enchanted, but it doesn't really seem like we have access to anything that's enchanted. Uh, plain longbow. Those are sucky. We definitely want the Hydra's longbow. Masterwork come again. The masterwork's all. You can't go wrong. We are going to now go and find the Dragon Forge. And after we do that, we are going to go and fight Grigori. We are going to finish the game. I'm going to do it as a sorcerer because I know that this Caged Fury has uh, great damage potential if you don't get hit. But just in case we want an option, whenever you beat the dragon, you get uh, the best weapon in the base game this is centered around the class that you played as when you beat him. So um, there's a really, really a common strategy of how people kind of like dragon forge pawn gear by kind of like picking the same class as their pawn. And then what they do is they will equip all of their pawns gear right before they beat Grigori. Because you can basically, you can get through the campaign in about an hour if you plan it out. Like you can beat the whole game in an hour pretty easily. Fastest I've ever seen it done was about 15 minutes, and that's because some speedrunners don't really care about getting flashbanged by the fast travel. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take a wee rest here, and I'm going to give myself holy affinity, just in case we encounter some kind of skeletal boner. Okay, we're really tired. Scabby's touching us. Excellent. Let's put that away, and we'll just kind of run along. The roads are safer than the brush. But still, we'd best stay wary. Thanks, Garby. Thank you for the unsolicited information. I'm going to sprint ahead. There are a bunch of goblins right ahead of us. Let's go ahead and just fire heaps of these away so we can get our damage potential on the Cage Fury up. And then we will be able to clear these guys real fast. 
Okay, there's a couple of them that's just a little bit too far away, including this king, who is now dead. Excellent. Ah, this one crapped out two gigantic sacks of money. Nice. I love that. I love when that guy craps out sacks of money. Uh, yes, there is a reason we're running around in the dark as well. I'm not really interested in kind of like doing the lantern or anything like that. It's a little bit... It's a little bit of an artificial mechanic, especially when you get significantly more experience just by running through the dark like an absolute idiot. And that one's dead. Good. Okay. Gross. Uh, there's a few more up here. Let's go ahead and just take these guys out because I don't like them. Excellent. And there's another one just over there. It was now dead. Perfect. Let's push onwards. A couple of phantasms over here. I'm not entirely sure if we really want to aggress against them. But they do give some pretty damn good experience. Maybe we... Is that some sort of structure? Uh, yeah, that's that's Grand Soren. That's where we just came from, lady. Okay, good. I'm going to come over here. They are really easy. We can one-hit them, by the way. And they give us 700 experience per kill, which is pretty crazy. Okay, I'm not even going to bother with that last one. Let's just push onwards until we get to the Dragon Forge, who should be just over this hill and very, very close. In fact, we'll actually know when we come across the Dragon Forge. Pretty sure we already cleared this specific area here out of any kind of quarrel. So awesome on that front. Got some more phantasms kind of patrolling again. A guy, bro, is slowly becoming an old-timey English-speaking RPG character. That's the game. That's the dialect of the game. Old-timey English. Probably, like, what most people in the olden days would consider to be ancient uh, speech patterns. I hear phantasms. Where is the nearest phantasm? Oh, there it is. Okay, let's fire a couple of Hail Marys at it. And we've exercised it. Perfect. We used the last of our holy enchantment to do that. We probably actually need to just do this right here. Ancient? It is pretty ancient, isn't it? Alright, let's fire this holy affinity against us because it is the best utility we have in the dark. It also kind of like lights up our surroundings a little bit. I see the hold. Yeah, we're not going to the hold, Scarby. I appreciate the initiative, but we're not going there. Let's push on this way. Oh, would you look at that? It's a pit of skeletons. I'd say some people would call that a grave. <laughs> a pit of skeletons. All right, good. We've got to be close to our maximum damage potential with the Cajun Fury, right? Maybe? Mapes? Mapes, babes? Oh, skeletons. Right over there. That oh, well, sucks to be him. He shouldn't have run away from us, honestly. Otherwise, we wouldn't have seen him. Uh, let's go up here. Why is there a skeleton in this bush? A little bit suspicious. We have triumphed. I feel like there may have been some uh, dirty dealings going on in there. Let's uh, glitch our way up this hill. And we should be very, very close to the Dragon Forge. It should be just around this corner, if I remember right. By the looks of it, we're it supposed to be able to see it. That's the thing. We're, we're actually looking very specifically for a, a gigantic painting on the side of a mountain. Okay, good. There it is. It's kind, it's kind of tricky to see in the distance. Oh, there's dogs. Oh, well. They shouldn't have slept here tonight. Damn, that does no damage. Let's go ahead and use necromancy, because we uh, don't really have anything else to use against them. Also, necromancy would be able to kind of, like, catch them before they get too close to us, I think. Uh, there's still heaps more of them, my gods. I'm going to need someone to touch me. Please? Gimmer? Scarby? Val? Literally anybody? Hold on. Thank you. Okay, we've got a little bit of stamina. I'm going to put that away. There's some doggos up here. I'm going to go straight through them because necromancy should theoretically take them out for us. Yep, there it goes. Whoa, necromancy is really powerful against dogs. Good grief. There's one left. I've learned new techniques against that foe. Well, maybe it was the maybe it wasn't the necromancy that was really powerful. Jesus, they're everywhere. Oh, they are literally everywhere. We are going to have to use another necromancy, I think. And if this doesn't function, we're going to be at a really, really bad spot. There were heaps of them surrounding us, by the way. I saw, like, three of them over on the hill over there. Probably want to take them out before they take us out. All right, good. We didn't waste all of our stamina for once, which is pretty cool. 
go ahead and take out both of these doggos. Hello, wolves. Bye-bye. Nice. Excellent. Oh, my God. I didn't even see him there. All right. Holy affinity. Wait, hold up. Does Chris wake up in the night every day because whenever he tries sleeping, it says you can't sleep now. There are monsters nearby. Can't sleep now. There are monsters nearby. That sounds familiar. Isn't that Skyrim? Oh, piss. There's lots of dogs over here, too. So we're probably going to have to use more necromancy. And they're pouncing. Okay, thanks, guys. Thank you, everybody. I think... I think that the dogs kind of like re aggro on random characters. We'll use necromancy nonetheless because we're going to be out of stamina anyway. And we'll just take care of anything that gets too close to us. Okay, where are you guys pointing your weapons? This one right here? Yeah, check this out. Try necromancy, guys. It works really well. Excellent. Okay, now we want to go up this hill right here. It's from Minecraft. When monsters are. Right, okay, yeah, true. I thought it was like Skyrim for a second there. Yeah, that is true. Um, it could be like, uh, it could be anything. I love that meme that says, uh, imagine if you were trying to go to bed in your own world and it says you can't sleep, there are monsters nearby. There's something drawn on the hill. Yeah, I, I know. We're actually about to go into the guts of the drawing. So this is, we're basically going into the colon of the drawing of the man on the hill right here. I know it's dark, so you couldn't see it, but we're in a good spot. Hello there, sir. I'm going to ransack your entire building. I don't know if you've got anything that's nailed down, but I'll probably be taking that too. The hour is come, Arisen. The door lies open. What does everything have to be come? Seek the temple atop the tainted mountain. Beyond the great wall. At its pinnacle. In the shadow of the worm. Keeper of the endless ring. You will make your choice. What you there become. Only you can decide. Okay. Thank you. He gave us a dragon leather vest. I think that we should either wear it ourselves greedily, or we should give it to Scarby. One of the two. We can't use this. Uh, let's give it to Scarby. Because I think that she is the right class for this now. Is it better? Let's find out. Yes, yeah, significantly better in every single way, shape, and form. Oh, it's because it replaces the Marshall's braces. These things suck. They increase strength, but uh, quite frankly, I'm just going to throw them on the floor and forget about them. I've already forgotten about them. What were they called? Who knows? All right, everybody, start looting. <laughs> start ransacking this man's house. Let me see. I was hoping you'd ask. <laughs> Good. <laughs> okay. Good. I'm ransacking his books right here. Oh, we also got a draconian strategy as well, which we could probably use right this second. No, we can't. We already have everybody in the party has experience with killing dragons. You guys looting everything? I see there's a pile of things over here that you haven't looted. Why don't you loot this? Idiots. It's free. It's literally free. You can take it. And that guy's not strong enough to stop us. Okay, down here there is a chest. What is in it? It is a leather circlet. Yuck. Uh, got a bunch more crap down here. Awesome. Let's go ahead and start looting everything. Scarby found a uh, fairy stone. You know what's funny? Today my brother jokingly said I was gay because I like Chris from Deltarune since Chris likes Relsi. But what's funny to is to get that even slightly suggested dialogue, you need to put in the options yourself so then the player would be gay. I Honestly, I feel like Chris is just supposed to be a conduit for a narrative. So if you, the player, are gay, Chris is gay. Did you consider that? What's wrong with being gay? That was always, honestly, like... This is probably going to sound a, li a little bit unironic, but uh, when I was growing up, I really had a, an, a huge issue with everything being gay and retarded. It's a it's a big millennial thing. Like, everything has to be gay or retarded. It's one of those things that you just can't escape. And um, quite frankly, like, having to deal with that for the first 20 years of my life was just gross. <laughs> oh, I don't have a problem with it. Yeah, and most people don't necessarily, but... It's kind of strange that gay has to be a slur. All right, so we actually want to go up here to barter crags, and the reason for that is we want to fight the end dragon. We are going to be doing a very, very good little bit of story killing, and we'll we'll finish the game essentially. This fortress is meant to protect Grancis from the dragon. It does look very solid. Thank you for the exposition, Gemma. Nobody cares. Literally nobody cares. Nobody wants to hear it. Shut up, Gemma! 
<laughs> Why does she speak so much? Okay, so the Great Wall is conquered. I'm pretty sure that he's on our side, which is just fine. We also don't have any stamina drain, which is awesome. Gay used to mean happy, so if anybody calls me gay, yes, I am happy. If that was the definition, then I was most certainly not gay back when, uh, <laughs> back when gay meant happy. I don't think anybody says gay using the old meaning anymore, other than grandpas. I do sometimes. I do sometimes. You know, because you gotta, you gotta throw some spanners in your own vi vocabulary just to uh, kind of have fun with yourself every now and then. Let's go ahead and use this. No, can't use it. Everybody already knows how to defeat a Hydra at the second level. Not me. Not me, though. <laughs> I don't. Okay, so this is the final area in the game. We have skipped a couple of areas. We'll be going back to a different playthrough. Thus you tread the path of all true arisen. Do face the dragon and learn the real truth. I can feel the dragon. We're near. Here, yep. the right will end, master. And okay, so there's uh, Saurians on the other side of here. They're actually see-through. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Let's go ahead and just give ourselves some necromancy, just in case one of them ganks us from behind. We be collecting old terms with this 100 fire? Absolutely. Like swag? Or sick? <laughs> or rad? Everyone remember when rad was, was acceptable to say? Yeah, that's impossible to uh, to breach. Let's go ahead and try and just knock this guy's tail off with our um, with our magic. <laughs> Excellent. Actually, that did a real bit of good. Okay, so they are dropping some little goodies that we definitely want. Fish eye stones, yes, please. Oh yes, rad. I love how people stop saying rad though. It's pretty weird. It's probably because it was like uh, it, it was an unusual use. Of dialect. Uh, I'm gonna use Maelstrom against this guy because this guy is actually no joke. These things have such high defense that it is actually worth using an entire nuke on a single one of them. Like so! Boom! And up he goes. And he's done. 2,000 experience though. You can't look past 2,000 experience, can you? Yes, let's press on. After the dragon's domain. Wonderful. So there's gonna be some real nasties in here. A lot of people who are quite observant will probably notice that this is also the same area as the prologue of the game before you even take uh, control of your character. I'm going to fire a maelstrom in here because succubi are a pain in the ass, and I don't want to have to deal with that. Meanwhile, all of my dudes are kind of like getting cursed and poisoned and all of that crap. What the hell is this one doing? Ah, there we go. Wonderful. I'm very tired. Uh, maybe we want to use Bolide instead. What the hell is it doing? <laughs> it, it came after us, but I don't know what they're doing. Okay, there's still a couple of succubi around here. What is this? This is Lava Flower. Actually, we don't have any of these, so we'll take a couple. Look, guys, as long as you're not getting um, paralyzed, it's absolutely fine. What does this mean? Probably curse. Oh, piss. My stamina. She just screamed all of my stamina out of my body. What a dick! I have been badly cursed. Yes, I can see that, lady. Do you want to come and help me? Come. I'll go at once. Very well. Come. Hold on. I'll be there shortly. There isn't as come. Oh, would you look at that? A goodie. Yes, please. Ow. Oh, piss off. Oh, we're gonna have to out heal this as well with uh, healing items. I. What do we just die? Do we just die? Okay, we actually survived that by taking a single healing item, which is just fantastic. Uh, why the hell are you guys all out here? Oh, piss off. Seriously? I just got one hit. Okay. Ooh, bro, what is the, even that bird thing? That was a, uh, what are they called? They're succubus. Thus you tread the path of all true arisen to see this dialogue. Repeating because it's so difficult. All right, I've got a new strategy and it's a little bit cheesy. It's gonna be a little bit cheesy. Feel the dragon. Bro, making the uh, uh, no. Th I think that was Scarby. I think Scarby was making those noises. 
Oh, I'm actually going to pop a Maelstrom right in the middle here because I know that those guys are kind of cloaked. You can kind of see them if you squint, but we don't... Scarby's got the nuts to go and mine this place while there's Saurians crawling all over it. Just literally standing next to one. Okay, good. That should knock off a couple of their tails at least. Or at least throw them up into the sky. Excellent. We do have maximum damage potential. Excellent. One of them is down. The other one is kind of like lying on the ground. And it's done and dusted. Perfect. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for the advice. Uh, let's also take care of this dump over here. Uh, I'm going to use another Maelstrom. Right over here. Probably could do with kind of like getting... Let's press on. Actually, let's do that. We won't kind of like go here just yet. We'll make sure that our vocation is fully ranked up. And then we'll get all of these skills that we actually need to beat this guy. Oh, he didn't get flipped up into the sky this time. It's embarrassing. Okay. So now I'm puffed. Val has touched me. Wonderful. I love that. Okay, let's see what's over this ledge. Because I think that these guys are trying to cap us with, with how it means certain death. We got an item right here. Feral cape. That is literally what I am wearing. <laughs> okay. Thank you, game. Let's go back. Uh, maybe we can use a fairy stone here to go back to Grand Sorin. I won't be too surprised if we can't. Grand Sorin right here. Oh, we can. Wonderful. That's your character's noise. That sounds kind of wild. What, this super high-pitched noise? Yeah, that's us. Oh, shut up, everybody. <laughs> Whoa! That person is kitted out to the nines. Good for them. We are going to go and make sure that we've got all of these skills that we need to beat this area because these skills that we need are going to be like high maelstrom and maybe fire affinity? No, that won't serve us well. We've got holy affinity. I think we just need high maelstrom. Let's go ahead and learn all set skills. We'll learn them so that we can upgrade. Yeah, we definitely maxed out this class, which is awesome. We want high season, definitely. That is an awesome skill to have. And high maelstrom. Good, and what else? I don't really like any of the other ones. Uh, Scarby has a bunch that we could probably do with giving her. Fighting wind, let's upgrade her fighting wind. Steps in with a blade and strike that sends the target aloft. Additional button presses, throw and detonate a store of powder. Absolutely, we're going to get trigger. That is fantastic. What about hold? Cast a firework of explosives into the fray and stuns nearby foes. That also sounds awesome. Or do we want reset? Let's get reset. I know that that's really overpowered functionally by uh, us, but I don't know how good it is for the characters. Loses an exceptionally fast arrow, allowing one to fire with precision from afar. That's perfect. Let's uh, get the meteor shot and this is a spinning arrow that delivers a barrage of hits to an area, especially effective with poison. No, not useful. Fires an arrow that produces a deafening blare on impact, stunning nearby foes, though it deals nearly no damage. Don't really want that. Uh, Deadly Arrow, an advanced form of Dire Arrow that focuses the user's strength into an even more powerful shot to the amount of time spent charging. We're actually going to get the Meteor ch shot instead of that. The Bund Arrow, while well, a line shot can pin the target to a nearby wall for a time. Quite effective in crap quarters. Yeah, let's do that. I like that. Let's go for Body Binder. And what else is there? There's also Hip Dad Shot and a Cat Shot. Let's get that. Nice. Okay, let's go ahead and start equipping these. Scarlet Kisses. I don't think that's... Particularly useful. We get advanced trigger and reset on the last slot right there. Longbow. Dire arrow can be replaced with body binder because we want her to use it lots. And meteor shot can be last. That can be like her, her dump, I suppose. And we also want to do ours. Ingle is not going to serve us well at all anymore because we have bowl eyes and we are going to be uh, basically a nuke. So let's replace that with season, which is good for ground enemies. And I think other than that, we're pretty much sorted. What will it be today? Good. I also want to see if there's not like uh, augments or anything that we can learn. Articulacy diminishes the time required to intone any spell. Absolutely, we're going to get that. That is an OP. Uh, reduces stamina consumption when you perform a magic weapon skill. Not really useful. Augments the power of magic attacks designed to knock down foes. Kind of useless. Persuasion enables you to negotiate higher prices. Yuck. Acuity greatly augments your magic. We definitely want that one. Awareness. Okay. Is that everything? Gravitas makes it difficult for foes to knock you off your feet while you intone spells. We don't have the HP for that. All right, Scarby, what have you got? Whoa, core skills. She's got a bunch of them. Let's uh, upgrade all of these. Absolutely fantastic. She's got 50,000 discipline. That's insane, actually. What else? Uh, trajectory causes your arrows to fly further. 
I mean, we could probably just buy all this. Increases cumulative damage when you debilitate with non-magic arc attack. Uh, increases the potency of curatives. Uh, causes your lantern to illuminate in a wider area. That's actually fantastic. We'll get that one. Extends the limit of your health. Not really interested. Okay, so we've got basically everything that we'd want. We want to replace something on her bar with radiance, I think. All right, let's go ahead and change our skills. Yes, sir. So what do we want? Endurance, uh, kind of handy. Dexterity, kind of handy. Greatly reduces damage to sustained physical attacks. That's awesome. Increases the lethality of your core skills. Awesome. Halves the stamina consumed when you lift uh, objects or grapple hold opponents. We want that. Extends the limit of your health. We can do away with that. Let's get Radiance instead. And for little old Funko here, we are going to get a couple more skills that we for some reason don't have. Uh, articulacy, we definitely want that. And we also want Acuity. Nice. Okay, so this is exactly the kind of build that we want. Let's go ahead. <laughs> I just knocked over the uh, chambermaid here too. Let's go and use this here, Eternal Fairy Stone. To go back to, where was it? I think it was Barter Crags. We don't actually have the quest selected, but we can do it. We can do the quest. It should be daytime. This fortress is meant to protect creatures yep, from the dragon. that is daytime. All right, let's go through this gate and we will make another attempt at trying to slam this dragon. Because now that we have all of these skills, it's gonna be really, really easy to beat him up. We're going to beat him up. We're going to take his lunch money. We're going to call him a couple of names. I I don't really want to go, like, so far as to say a slur or anything like that. But we could probably just, like, make up a couple of names on the spot. We could deliver a one-liner right before we, um... Right before we remove him from this mortal plane. If you could really call it that. Okay, let's go ahead and just see if we can jump on top of that. No, we cannot. That's fine by me. That chest is empty. Perfect. In fact, I'm probably actually still holding the contents of it in my pocket. Like an absolute oaf. Which is fine, I suppose. It doesn't matter too much. So we should have already taken out a couple of the Geosaurians and... Geosaurians? Sulfasaurians? I'd say. Okay, I don't see any Saurians here. Can we break this? No. Okay. Yeah, thanks, Scarby. What if we, like, try and jump over the ledge here? Is there anything? Any goodies? No. There's no goodies. Me, Only death and destruction and upset, upset players. Okay, hi Maelstrom. I'm casting hi Maelstrom now in this room. Yes, I know. That's why I'm it's casting hi Maelstrom in this room. Arms. The right there. Oh, good shot. Whoever fired that. Good. Now let's fire this huge Maelstrom right off into here. Boom. Let's that see how many of them we hit. That's all of our all. stamina gone, by the way. Oh, we killed one of them. Nice. I love that. Uh, Val, you want to maybe come and touch my bum bum? You, you want to come give my bum a little bit of a grab? We also got to max damage potential as well, which is awesome. Nope. Okay. Okay. Looks like there is something stuck in here. Don't allow it to grab you. I don't know what it's doing though. What is it doing? What is the succubi doing? Oh, we don't want to be hit. Good. Nice. That was close. Oh, we got some cinder stone. That is a rare material. Love that. Scarby just took a lava flower. Love that too. We only really need one of them. Wintry herb. I don't really need them. I'll take a couple, I guess. We can always duplicate them in the black cat, by the way. What's this? Lava flower. Why is everything cum? Does everything really have to be cum? Let's try season. Let's try season. We haven't. This is uh, probably the first time we've used the skill, right? On my way. And we haven't used it before. Oh no. Okay, good. I hope it's not gonna parry an earthquake. Okay. Whoa, that is potent! Holy hell! Excellent. Love that. Okay, we're at max damage potential with the Caged Fury. I actually love this weapon so much. This is such a good weapon. I remember why I loved it so much. It's because you can basically take a um, a crap build and then make it function. What the hell is going on? Okay, Jimmy, you loot that. You got there first. You loot that. Okay, I'll loot that. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll do it. What is it? A golden belt. Nice. We'll give it to Scarby after she gets enough kills. There's a little mining outcrop there. Scarby's already on it. She found some filigan ore. I think that's supposed to be kind of like lightning ore. All right, thank you. Ooh. 
I thought a, a fool meant certain death. Look at all the goodies here. There's goodies here. Look at this. What is this? A light cure. Nice. There's also a little bit of husband milk here. Take that. A little bit of husband juice, actually. Not milk. Okay, good. It's probably going to be another Saurian somewhere in here. If not through that doorway, if I remember right. As the feet of countless pilgrims first beat down this road to temples. Yep, there it is. Let's go ahead and try out Bolide. Maybe Bolide will do back. good. Yes, wow, Jimmers, absolutely wailing away on that poor bastard. Uh, it's half of its health is already gone. It's getting unusually close to me, guys. Okay, I'm firing Bolide. Don't allow me to get hit. Okay, we're good. We've got stamina now. Oh, that's gonna hit multiples at once. Nice. Good. Good. Awesome. I love that so much. Okay, we are we have now become the nuke. We are now a nuke. Oh, help! How the hell did I miss that? I'm I'm just going after its tail at this point. Uh, let's go up here because there are more goodies around the place. While everybody's fighting that thing, I think we could probably just go over here and start ransacking some of these chests, like this one right here. A sultry perio. Oh wow, we. Don't mind if I do. I think there's only money on top of these little uh, areas here. But it doesn't hurt to look, does it? I mean, while everybody's kind of like looting it, I suppose. We can just go down here. Maybe we can get ourselves this chest. A lancer sword. Wow. Cool-ish. Where to go? A ball here means certain death. That's not true whatsoever. Also, where did the uh, the enemy go? My dude. It's Oriental. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Dorian? What are you guys aggroed on? Explain yourself. Or not. I think I just heard a, uh, a skeleton. Holding room. Ooh. Yup, 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 yup. What's this? Liquid Vim? I'll take that. Uh, there is... What did I just take? A skull? What did I just take? Right, I think everybody's kind of ransacking this place as they find it. Yep, definitely. Oh, Scarby just found a rusted staff. Those are kind of overpowered. We might even end up using that eventually. Let's go ahead and give ourselves holy affinity so that we can kind of one-shot anything that's undead in this cavern. And we've also got maximum damage potential from the Caged Fury, so we're in a pretty good place anyway. Flask of water? Yes, please. I'll take that. Ah, these are not good. Lots and lots of harpies out here, I think. Oh, piss. Good. So, I'm going to fire off some bolide. And I'm going to hope that none of them aggro onto me. Val, get the hell out of this room. This is my casting room. Good God, woman. She actually just tried to get me killed. Okay. Bolide off! Maximum damage potential! Bye-bye! Boom. Boom. Nice. Okay, good. Bolide's on you. Oh, hello there. That is a hellhound. Good grief. What's cracking, dog? Oh, my God. It just hit me. It drained all of our stamina, and we have lost all of our damage potential. That dog actually just screwed us over. Where is it? Oh, okay. Gem is... Whoa. That was close. Hey! Okay, we don't want to use fire. Good. That's one of them down. Maybe seize him? Would do the trick? I don't know where the rest of them are. I did see at least one more. Down here, maybe? Oh, yep. Uh, let's actually take this explosive barrel and see if we can't uh, maybe huck it at the at Doggo. Okay, it did nothing. Maybe Holy would do something against him? Kind of doing a little bit of damage against him. Whoa! <laughs> that was so close. Whoa! Oh, damn it. He took that one right to the face as well. Ah, well. What's in this chest right here? Veteran's Ark. Ooh, a new bow for Scarby. Maybe. Yeah, someone get me up. I'm, I'm burning to death. We are literally burning to death right here. All right, good. Heal up a little bit. And I'm going to fire these off, see if there's anything else in this room. There's not excellent. That's what I like to see. Uh, let's come up here. So at the start of the game, right, this is interesting because at the start of the game, when we were playing the prologue, we were actually playing as uh, Duke Edmund of Dragon's Bane. So that is kind of like... A little bit of foreshadowing, I suppose, into the path of the Arisen, because he was also an Arisen, the Duke, the Duke of Grand Sorin. Oh, oh my god, you can have that, Scarby. Or I'll take it, sure. 
Uh, we definitely actually want Scarby to have one of these bows that we just picked up. So let's go ahead and just give everything to Scarby. In fact, actually, Jim can have the sword. All right, Veteran's Ark. I'll give this to Scarby because she is an archer. And also these Pleach Limbs. Oh, apparently she needs to be another class. Let's go ahead and look at Scarby's gear now. I think that the Veteran's Ark is significantly better than what she is currently using. I think this only does... Yeah, so that does bonus damage against Hydras, which is not really all that useful. I think we just want the overall damage buff of the Veteran's Ark. And Pledge Limbs, I don't know if that actually does anything good, necessarily. It could just be the next upgrade tier of the, uh, kind of like, the other Rangers class. So, come all the way around here. Kind of want to give myself Holy Affinity once more, because I know what's around this corner and it is... It is all kinds of bad. Damn, look at how fast we cast now. That's nice. Usually it would take like twice the time to cast that one spell that we just cast. Oh, what's that? Smother set. Sure, I'll take it. Ah, damn it. Bunch of spiders in here. A lot of spiders in here, actually. Oh my god. Uh, they spit poison, so we kind of want to take care of them about as fast as we possibly can. Because we don't want to lose our damage potential, even taking a single bit of damage is going to remove everything that we have been working for with the Caged Fury. Okay, let's push on through here. Don't see any other spiders. I do see... Never mind. Boop. Just boop it on its little torso there. Panacea, we will definitely take that. Those are so useful. We probably want to go up here and see what kind of loot that there is to grab. Yep, that's what I was afraid of. Uh-huh. So... Okay, let's get out into the open with this thing. We're going to bolide him. Let's get a nice bolide out. And even if we're a little bit sore... Oh, piss. Oh, that's not good. So, Scarby is now down and is trying to have a wee sleep. Whoa, that was close. And also, here, I don't know who this is, but... What the hell? Oh, no, uh, tank it, Scarby. You tank that while I cast High Bolide. Okay, I'm kind of hiding in between the pillars here. Bolide seems to be unusually accurate, so we'll keep on using that, knowing that this guy is, in fact, weak to fire. You're going to be quite puffed, but boom. Uh, okay, it's doing quite a bit of damage. It's definitely doing damage against the Serpent's Tail. So we've taken out the Serpent's Tail for now. We next want to focus on the goats here. Oh, we didn't take out the, um, the serpent's tail, actually. We want to focus on the goats here. Oh, poos! That was so, so close, potentially. We could actually just stand on these as well and just open... Oh my god, it's got curative magic? No shot! Whoa, okay. Hopefully it's not coming up to me! Oh, that poos. We just lost all of our damage potential. And we're tired. Great. Fine. I'll get down here. I'll have a, 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 a little bit of a, a moment to catch my breath. Oh, awesome. Uh, Gemma just knocked off the tail. Perfect. I'm going to cast Bolide again while it's down, because Bolide is really, really potent against these things. Hopefully we'll get it before it gets up. It did not get it before it gets up. Okay, I'll focus my attack. I'm ready. I'm firing. I'm firing my laser. Boom. I'm firing my meteors. Oh, look at the damage. Look at the damage! Okay, I don't... Oh, we interrupted the goat casting Curative Magic. That is fantabulous. Beautiful. Scabby's really tired. That kind of sucks. Uh, maybe see some next? Or maybe we just kind of, like, let fate continue on as it's been going on. Okay, I'm going to cast Necromancy. <laughs> I'm going to hope for the best with the Necromancy. Maybe we can kind of, like, cheese him a little bit because we're probably going to want to dodge something really soon. I don't know if he's going to come after us. He's definitely screaming. Yeah, he's doing a scream. Let's go ahead and just use necromancy. Boom. That did absolutely nothing, and all of our necromancy just disappeared as well. Gemma is landing a lot of hits against this guy's face. Perfect. And we don't have any kind of, like, weak skills, so maybe Bolide again is probably going to be the way. It doesn't really seem like he is interested in us. Val, do not get us hit. That was so close. Ah! Val 
actually just got us killed. Oh my god, that hurts so bad. How far back are we? How far back are we? Please don't be all the way back at the start of this dungeon. Please. I can feel the oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! oh, we were literally at the last section. That was the last enemy to have beaten. Okay, I don't have time to go back through it again. I know, it's frustrating, isn't it? That is such bollocks. Right as we were about to beat it, Val had us baited into being killed. Maybe we throw her away. She's too useful, though. She's too useful. Okay, so I have run out of time for streaming. I am going to be back tomorrow. I'm going to be screaming and not streaming for a wee while. Thank you so much for watching. Right up here, you're going to find the playlist for Dragon's Dogma Bark Drizzle. And right up here, you're going to find another playlist that I think you'd really enjoy. Down in the description of this video, you can find a link to my Discord where you can talk to me and my community whenever you damn well please. And of course, until I make the next video or you catch the next stream, thank you so much for watching and goodbye!